We see it all around us more and more every day. People with power punching down. But the Avengers weren't like that. I believed it in my core. I keep thinking, this has to have happened for a reason. Maybe this is what I've been waiting for. Maybe I'm finally part of something. Bigger. Jabu, look! It's about time. Oh, These seats don't recline. It's so beautiful. Huh. Why call it the Golden Gate Bridge if it's not golden? There are so many other kids. I bet their stories are all amazing. Competition is what makes us strong. Mm. What if... They don't like my story. What if it doesn't fit in? It's gotta be perfect, you know? When you were born, your brother said you had googly eyes. What? But I thought your eyes were the most beautiful things I had ever seen. We are all unique, Kamala. You should be proud of who you are. I love you, Abu. I love you more. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna win this thing. Oh, could you imagine? Uh, I'm the winner. For best fan fiction ever is... Avengers vs. the Evil Sewer Lizards by Kamala Khan! And the crowd goes wild. <sighs> That's the spirit. <laughs> hmm. Promise me something. Win or lose. Oh, I'll always be good, Abu. No, oh, beta. Good isn't a thing you are. It's a thing you do. That's my girl. Folks, we're approaching the Avengers West Coast headquarters on the left, and we'll be touching down on the Chimera side. Hurry, Abu, let's go! All right, all right, hold your horses. Contest, here I come. Whoa. Welcome to Avengers Day. All VIP reporting for duty, Cap. And their family members are required to take Pretty cool. Welcome Still to Still hoping Avengers to see Day. the real thing. Hey there, finalist. Can I get your name? Kamala Khan. And this is my dad. Yusuf. The Khans. Great. Make sure to check out our comic scavenger hunt. Collect all five and get access to the VIP balcony. Once you've collected them all, just scan your phone at the elevator and you're golden. Have fun! <laughs> Don't you have enough comic books? But the VIP balcony! I, I have to! And shield. Have a wonderful day. Hit the red targets, but not the green. 150 points to win. No problem. Is now mine. Young man, I know you got the power. 
got this comic. I need the Captain America one to finish the set. Wait, if you get doubles, wanna trade? <laughs> sure. Cool. See you later. No, this one's all out. Oh my gosh! Repulsor gloves! Oh, man. Oh. oh, this is so cool. Ah, uh, what atrocity is this? Ah, apologies. <laughs> You're very small and hard to see. There is no need to cower before a son of Odin. Though I understand the impulse. What is your name? Oh, Kamala Khan. Uh huh. And what is that thing you are holding? Oh, it's a high density muon beam. A Model 3 Repulsor Club. It's Tony Stark's first love. <laughs> Odin's beard. About as intimidating as the man himself, hmm? <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Behold, a true weapon that needs no improvement. Oh, wow. Whosoever holds this hammer, if he, if she, be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. <laughs> Indeed. The difference between Stark's trinkets and the god's might. Yes, but every hero has to start somewhere, right? <clears throat> yes, <laughs> yes, of course. You are very wise for one so young. Thanks. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> <laughs> Kamala Khan. Hmm. I will remember your name. <laughs> I can't believe I just met the God of Thunder. Mind blown. Uh, comic books. Prize. Focus. I love your hair. You ever thought of cutting it? No, this one's all out. A shield cap used in World War II to smash Hitler in the face. This is so cool. You're in the way. I'm, I'm sorry. This contest should only be for the real fans. <laughs> hey, what makes you think I'm not a real fan? I deserve to be here too. You really think that the Avengers read your little story? Get out of here. <laughs> And the press and the whole world tell you to move. You plant yourself like a tree beside the river of truth. And you say no. You move. What? Who said that? A real fan would. Yeah, whatever. Let's get out of here. And they're out of comics. You know, for what it's worth, I thought that was pretty brave. Uh, thanks. I'm guessing you're a Captain Marvel fan. She's <laughs> off planet, but she would have liked to meet you. I'm sorry, you're Captain America. I'm Kamala. Kamala Khan. Khan. Your story had the evil sewer... The sewer lizards, yeah. 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 Thor really got a kick out of that one. 
Said they actually had a sewer lizard problem on Asgard once. You read my story. Everyone submitted. <laughs> that is so cool. Hey, Cap, we should head to the stage. Tarleton is losing his nerve. Have you seen Thor? He should be here by now. Uh, I saw him. I, I saw him, yeah. Uh, he was over at the Stark booth, but he's probably not there anymore because I saw him leave. <laughs> Who's the kid? Nat, allow me to introduce one of our esteemed contestants. This is Kamala Khan, expert on all things evil sewer lizard. Oh, all right. Hey, that thing you had me do with the storm drain cover? Pretty badass. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing compared to what happened between you and Madame Hydra. That was wild. <laughs> uh, we should head to the stage. Right. It's nice meeting you, Kamala. See you around, kid. I'll see you around. That was Captain America. And Black Widow. I'm dying. Two down. Looks like I need to give it a try if I want that next comic book. Can I try? Give it a go. Come on. So close. Hey, almost worthy is still pretty good. Here's your come. Oh, thanks. Another comic down. Cool. More comics. Don't let Stark. That's get those get scientists I'm gonna be from sick. the TVs. Terrigen was meant for the people, not some toy for billionaires. It still can be. Stay focused on what matters. Our work is going to change the world, George. I know you don't like the pageantry, but it will be worth it. He'll want control, profit. We won't let him. This is your moment. With Stark's funding and your mind, you'll be a hero to all those people. Can't you see? We are so close. There you are. Bruce. <laughs> you disappeared this morning. There's always work to be done. I know, always. What is it? Nothing. It's some little thing. Just getting some strange readings off the, uh, the reactor. George, maybe you were right. Maybe we were too hasty to put this on public display. Do you think we could run over the numbers just one more time? Oh, uh, yeah, yes, certainly. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Hey, what are you doing back here? Uh-oh. I'm, um, I'm lost? Sure. Let's get you back to the main event, okay? Huh. already have this one. Hold on. Maybe I could trade this one with that other kid. Hey, I got the comic you wanted. Awesome. Trade you. Pleasure doing business with you. Almost done. VIP balcony, here I come. America and the Avengers? Clash of the Superheroes? Whoa. Oh, smack! All right, let's do this. Now to get up to that VIP balcony. Remember to select five minutes. Director Fury. Director, aren't you concerned that your helicarrier's reactor might be incapable of containing this terrigen? We know Trust nothing me. of. We wouldn't be moving forward if this wasn't completely safe. The Chimera delivers the safety and protection of the Avengers and Shield combined. Thank you. Bruno's never gonna believe this. Oh, hey kid, but be careful. Oh. Okay.
Better, this is the elevator to your fancy balcony. Open sesame, comic book overlords! We're here to celebrate two amazing... This is the best day of my life. I'm glad that the jungle is... Yeah, that ...that make us heroes look a lot more impressive than we actually are. We're also unveiling a new clean energy source called Terror. I'm told it's quite powerful stuff. And to explain how it works, the man who discovered it all, Dr. George Tarkov. Uh, thank you, uh, Cap <laughs> Captain Rogers. The Chimera is powered by a new mineral, Terridge. Three years ago, I found a strange rock, yes, in the San Francisco Bay. Upon further tests, it was clear this mineral would be... I... I'm losing... Hello, San Francisco! The city of fine people, good food, and no parking. I am working on the no parking thing. Nice bag. <laughs> oh no, this doesn't look good. We should get out of here. Come. Sounds pretty big for an accident. There are no accidents. Thor, Tony, check it out. At once. Try to keep up. Grab the Quinjet map. Just in case. On it. Are you waiting? Uh, yeah, obviously. You're gonna let you catch up. Whoa! This just got a whole lot more interesting. Let's make this quick. Where? Thor, see if you can clear a path on the bridge. Aye. Right. Go, go, go! You got it! Uh, Arm the men out here! We need backup! <laughs> you are not worthy. Thanks for the assist. We got civilians trapped behind those barricades. Understood. Stay behind me. I will deal with them. We got you, Thor. This should be fun. Thor, who are we dealing with here? They did not introduce themselves. Hang on, those guns are shield to shoot. I'll get Commander Hill on the line. Cap, they picked today for a reason. Agreed, Bruce. I'm staying with the Chimera until we figure out what's going on. Help is on the way. You target, kill the god.
I like that. Prototypes. Fury is tracking down the full manifest. Hell! How's the cat? Well, tell Fury I really love being shot at with my own weapon. We'll keep you updated, and Goose is fine. Ah, hey, didn't know you were listening to that part. You'd think these idiots would be running away by now. Can't shake the feeling we're playing catch up. There's something else going on here. Good bright idea was this outfit, shield trucks with turrets. Tony! All right, fine. ship's not ready for flight. Why is it moving? Someone's initiated the security protocols. The Chimera's autopilot has taken over. You'll need backup. We're heading back. Negative. Secure the bridge. Those weapons can't get into the city. Copy that. You're up, Bruce. I, uh... No! 
flyers on me. Annoying little guys, aren't they? On my way. are dangerous, Stark. Hey, those weapons were meant for the good guys. Is that supposed to be a joke? Not the time. Get your heads in the game. Cap, what's going on over there? Not sure, Nat. Seems like the reactor's malfunctioning. I'm getting strange readings on the monitors. Like we're being pulled to a heat signal in the bay. Down! Repeat that, Cap. I'm having trouble here. Nat, do you read? All hands. The Chimera is under attack. Evacuate the civilians! Have a look, shall we? Now that 
is an entrance. Taskmaster. We need to get that detonator. That bomb goes off, it could liquefy everything within a 10 mile radius. Well, what are we waiting for? Trying to piece it together? You giving up? Not a chance! <laughs> so, where has your investigation left you? That you're not the brains behind this. And this smells like distraction. I'm done talking! Coward! What's the matter? Don't like surprises? Better notes. <laughs> Guess you saw that coming, huh? You think you've won? What the hell are you talking about? Look around, Romanov. 
The world will remember this day. The day their heroes failed them. <laughs> Happening here. The city's collapsing. Damn it, they played us. Steve, can you hear me? Get the hell out of there! Rita. Screw this. Five years ago, the Avengers paraded dangerous, untested technology causing damage on an unprecedented scale. Our beloved Captain America was killed during the attempted theft of this technology. Thousands of other innocent people died, and many more still bear the scars of what has come to be known as A-Day. Hundreds fell sick, encased in strange cocoons, only to emerge with dangerous, otherworldly powers. With no known cure, the disease has spread across the country, and while both S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Avengers promised to rectify the situation, it was Dr. Banner's testimony that brought about the end of an era. You so-called heroes transformed San Francisco into an infectious, gas-filled quarantine zone. You unleash diseased, powerful beings that wreak havoc throughout our nation. Many still lay dormant, unidentified. So I ask you again, Dr. Banner, do the Avengers pose a danger to society? Yes. Their activities outlawed, the once mighty heroes disbanded. But out of tragedy is born hope. After the government liquidation of Stark Industries, Dr. George Tarleton, himself a victim of A-Day and founder of Advanced Idea Mechanics, thinks science is the solution to our nation's problems. I wish I knew what happened to Captain Rogers that day, but I was nowhere near the reactor room. I don't have those answers, but I can promise you this. I will use this second chance to make you safe. AIM will find a cure for the inhuman disease. Comforting words to those families torn apart by the disease. But is he too confident? Many criticize AIM's tactics. This so-called resistance army grows stronger every day. This is Phil Sheldon reporting live at the A-Day anniversary. I can't see the revolution right under their noses. Come on, where'd you guys go? There's gotta be a clue here somewhere. Hello there. If you get it right, copy everything. We'll find you. Now we're talking. Whoa, Retro Stark. Do you have a moment to talk, Beta? Uh, yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> the girls are leaving for the mosque retreat in a couple of hours. It's still not too late to meet them at the bus. It was tonight? Kamala, we talked about this. Going to the retreat will be a good time to get away from all of this. Breathe some fresh air, laugh. Nakia will be very disappointed if you don't go. You're right. I'll think about it. Good. Very good. There'll be ice cream, eh? <laughs> oh, and best of all, no boys, so lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Beta. I love you more. But you don't get it. <sighs> okay. Where were we? Password hint. First love. Hmm. Oh. What's... What? Oh. Come on. 
Come on, come on, you got this. Oh, right. Duh. Dang! Come on, guys. Oh my god, I'm in! I'm in! I can't believe it! Oh. Right. Uh, copy everything. Bless your inflated ego, Tony Stark. <laughs> I know I got something. Better check this out at headquarters. Huh. Guess I really kicked the hornet's nest. Gotta get to headquarters and check out what's on this flash drive. to the old HQ. It's a mess, but it's my mess. Just let somebody try to get me at range. Stretchy arms for the win. Ugh, a mare would freak at the sight of this. Well, then again, my brother freaks out over basically everything. Looking pretty worn out. Wonder if they make any for supersized punches. Laptops upstairs. Don't want to bump my head jumping up like last time. Who needs high-tech security when only I could make this jump? All right, let's see what we've got. The Chimera? This must be the reactor room security footage. Dr. Tarleton? You're supposed to be on the command deck. Oh, Cap. What's going on? No way. Tarleton sealed him in. There was no malfunction. He killed Cap. Oh my god, he killed Cap! What? Tiny Dancer? Oh no. Heroes Park? Hmm. I don't know. This could be a trap. But 
what if it isn't? Someone needs to see this. Just be smart, Kamala. Hand over the proof, and you're done. Hello, I'm Dr. George Tarleton, CEO and founder of Advanced Idea Mechanics. AA is proud to announce an inhuman clinic opening to serve Jersey City. I'm heading to the park this way. Uh, forward, I guess? If Tarleton's lying about the command deck, who knows what else he'd be lying about. Hello, I'm Dr. George Tarleton, CEO and founder of Max Idea Mechanics. Hey, is proud to <gasps> Graceful, but made it. Okay, get to the cat statue. Hello, Heroes Park. Been a while. My parents used to bring me here all the time when I was a kid. Ames tearing this place down to build their new clinic. Such a waste. All in humans. All missing. This is what Abu's really worried about. The first person they called inhuman. Wow. It's really been four years. Should be a good place to stake out Cap's statue up ahead. Need a hand, big guy? Cap. It's been too long.
Tiny dancer? Hey, hey. Where are you going? Uh, home. Really? We just got here. Hey, want a drink? Nah, no thanks. What? Are you paying your respects? I'm just taking a shortcut, that's all, fellas. <laughs> shortcut. Come on, get out of there. Right. Cool lighter. So you want him back, huh? So they can kill more of us? What? No. No? No? No. What is it then? Hmm? And you must get you going? <gasps> Come on, fellas. Stupid sympathizers. Stop! Are you okay? <laughs> Candle Kid's got a girlfriend. Zach, check out her bag. What? What the hell is wrong with you people? I just want to go home, okay, man? <gasps> what are you doing? My kid brother was there on A-Day. He wrote some dumb stuff about Captain America. It wasn't Cap's fault. It's all their fault. He turned all freakish and purple. And then they took him away. <gasps> hey, take it easy. Zach, enough, I know he's dude. dead. Stop! He's dead! I said stop! 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 Get back. <gasps> She's one of them! Oh. Don't let her touch you. We gotta go. Dude. Are you okay? Come on, let's go. Don't touch me. What? Um, you're a tiny dancer, right? What do I do with this? What are you talking about? Please, just let me go. Hey! Uh. Gotta move. If they catch me, it'll be my picture they're putting on that wall. Humans looking for me too? Who can teleport?
mole. She's still a liability. Oh, good. You're awake. I'm so sorry. Those synthoids were only following their security protocols. Stealing private information is a serious offense. Monica, give her a moment. Hey, what's going on? Where are you people taking me? Somewhere safe. <clears throat> Forgive me. <laughs> I know I don't quite compare to my holographic counterpart. But it's a nice trick for the shareholders. <laughs> Dr. Tarleton? In the flesh. Why did you hack our servers? I didn't steal anything. And what were you looking for? The cure, perhaps? Kamala, AIM only wants to free us from being at the mercy of the powerful. You know, subjectivity. Unlimited power, that's dangerous. It's lethal. A-Day was a prime example. You are lucky to be alive. But with technology, we can right their wrongs. We can give you back your normal life. Look, I, I just guessed a password, okay? I, I didn't think I'd actually get in. She is clearly violent. Her infection must be getting worse. What? I, I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Of course not. But what happens when you lose control again? Hmm? What happens when you hurt someone that you love? Even the Avengers had to suffer for their hubris. Hey, were you there? I mean, when Cap died. Were you there? Yes. Luckily, Monica found me on the command deck. Her regenerative formula saved my life. Come on, Kamala. Let's do this. Yes? Let AIM help you. I'll take my chances. Damn it, George! Get the girl! Now! Hold on, Kamala. You just coded yourself as an inhuman. Stupid! What were you thinking, huh? Join the resistance? Become some kind of hero? I can't go home. I'll make Abu. They'll punish them for hiding me. Utah. The old shield base. The resistance has to know what to do. You have been identified oh, as an illegal inhuman. Surrender now, and you will not be harmed.
find out. Do this. Come on, please surrender to the authorities. You want to see powers? Here we go. Positive ID. The Salem is inhuman. <laughs> what gave you away? <laughs> Range combat yeah. recommended. Are those grenades? Subject 1102 can clone herself almost perfectly, with the exception of a slight color variation in the eyes. The cells are splitting down the center, creating two separate individuals. Uh, it's, it's like the planarian flatworm, only human. Exactly. And can retain all the memories of the original subject. 0925 can create powerful bursts of energy, and, and there's at least a half a dozen with fire based abilities. We're building an arsenal. Programmable power under our control. No more heroes, no more mistakes. It's time for another dose. I feel fine. You're in a coma for six months. Earlier, you could barely contain your cough. A few more doses of my regenerative formula, and your treatment will be complete. They still light candles at the base of that statue. If not for that hammer, I'd have torn the thing down. Leave it. Why have the public thinking you're still worried about the Avengers? Let my people handle it. We have a daptoid to launch. You're right. This version may be a bit more... potent. Is it stabilized? Almost. This is incredible! You have reached Yusuf Khan. Please, leave a message and I will return your call. Hey, Abu. 
So I took your advice. I'm with Nakia and the others on the retreat. Can you believe there's no cell service out here? I, I had to hike all the way up to this payphone to make this phone call. Anyway, um, you're right, we're having a blast. I'll, I'll be home late Sunday. Promise I'll be good. Love you more. All the conspiracy theories online point to this canyon as the Resistance home base. They're the only chance I've got. At least I know someone's been out here anyway. Just like me to travel across the country chasing rumors. These rumors are all I got. Aim's out here, too? I have to hurry. Yeah. Finally! Something not made of rock. Is this a good sign or a bad one? Get up high and see where I'm at. Don't get mad, Abu. I'm just stretching my arms. Saw me out here. I mean, I'm freaking out. <sighs> no way. The Chimera. I found them. I can't believe I found them. <laughs> here we go.
The resistance has to be here. Lights! Somebody's home! Probably the way to go. Holy crap, I must be close. Deck. Where is everyone? This is it. This is the Resistance headquarters. People were definitely sleeping in here. How long ago? Did those aim drones outside scare everyone away? Kind of dusty. No, they're here somewhere. hid in the crew quarters and got locked out thanks to the flaky power. Ugh, figures. Gotta get the power back on. Hmm. Maybe there's a breaker or something I could put. scared everyone away then. Sounds like this old thing's falling apart. You were right, Cap. Terrigen was powerful stuff. Who's there?
gotta get out of here. No wonder the resistance bailed on this place. Just one more thing to break. There's gotta be way back up to the deck. Hulk should have transformed back to Dr. Banner by now. Guess I'm on my way. How could pushing a red button possibly go wrong? Hulk comes back, I'm toast. This was the hangar bay. Almost there. Be cool, Kamala. Just need to get to the top deck without getting my head ripped off. Push buttons, move platforms. Right. Damn! I could get used to this! Just keep going up. missing. I wonder if there's anything around that could help. Gotta find a way to get that junction box working. Yes! Found the handle for that junction box. There's my way out. No sign of the resistance anywhere. Hulk must have scared him away. Better find a way off this thing. <sighs> what am I supposed to do with this footage now? <gasps>
Hey. What are you, what are you oh, doing? Oh, take it easy. It's okay. Just making sure that you don't die on me. Okay. You can't Maybe. just go around drawing people's blood. I, I, I know, I know. Under normal circumstances, no. But these aren't normal circumstances. Holy crap. Dr. Banner? Oh, no. Um, Highway 9, Highway 9, it's about 20 miles. To Highway 9, if you take Highway 9, you can go stop it. And you probably could just do s what sorry. What are you talking about? I've spent a lot of time. Um, as the as the big guy, so. How long have you been here? Uh, a, a few years. Yeah. <sighs> It's remarkable. Yeah. So I've been told. So this is why aimbots chase a kid into the desert? Not exactly. I kind of stole something off of AIM's server. Huh? <laughs> what? Why? Why? I know, I know, I know, okay? I just, I think you should see for yourself. It's Tarleton. Yeah. Why are you shutting down the security protocols? Did he just... Right? Right? That's what I thought. He totally locked Cap in the reactor room and then he tried to jack the Chimera. That's a bit of a stretch. We know that the reactor was malfunctioning, so it's possible Cap asked him to shut down the security protocols and then lock the no, door. No, we've heard the A-Day testimony tons of times. Tarleton and Monica were on the command deck when the explosion happened, and that's why they barely survived. But this proves that Tarleton was nowhere near the command deck when the explosion happened. This proves he was lying. So, where's the rest of it? It got bumped off. The rest of the footage got corrupted. Yeah. Look. What if the Avengers were set up? Okay. Carlton, aim, the so-called cure, it's just not lining up. There's something wrong and I can feel it. Don't you? Here I thought you were just some nosy little thief trying to make off with Cap Shield. <laughs> so? I was thinking. Couldn't Mr. Stark help us with this? I mean, the whole mainframe was built on his technology. Um, if anyone could get us in, it could be him, right? Yeah. There is a bus stop off Highway 9. You're gonna keep heading west, and then when you do, it'll take you to some old friends who can help. Maria's good people. Tell her I sent you, and uh, just show her all of this. But you saw the video. You I'm know something's not right sorry. here. Sorry. I can't help you. I wish I could, but I can't. But you're Dr. Bruce Banner. You're one of the greatest minds of our time. Greatest minds? Look at you. Look at what we did. You have no idea how dangerous it is. Carlton calls people like me inhuman. He claims we're sick, violent, 
demented. He says our disease will kill us in the end. Well, I don't believe it. Guess I'll find Mr. Stark myself. Wait. Just... You'll need a ride. Really? Tony stashed most of his stuff here when Stark Industries went under. And if anyone knows where Tony is, it's Jarvis. This trail should take us to the Archive's secret entrance. Cool. Well, it's a nice day for a hike. Yeah, that's the spirit. Are you wearing that communications bud I gave you? Yeah, practically invisible. So why did you go back to the Chimera? Well, I didn't. He did. So... Did he scare away the resistance? You know, honestly, Kamala, I don't remember anyone being there. Now well, the big guy had a run-in with a few S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, but after that, nothing. Oh, right. I think I found something! <sighs> Bit of tight squeeze. Yeah, watch your head. Here. Let me help. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, I've got it. There's a clearing just ahead. The entrance should be there. Cool. So what does Jarvis actually look like? Like an outdated hard drive from 1998. Okay, new question. What does a 1998 hard drive look like? Oh, God. Wow. Finally. This means we're close. Oh, wait. That's <clears throat> well, it should. Got him. Send in containment unit. Uh, Dr. Banner, what do I do? Run. What? by your silence that you are not amused. That's okay. I don't think Bruce likes my jokes either. No, Bruce. Okay, okay. 
I won't mention the, uh, the guy with the glasses. What? Oh crap, you're right. This doesn't look temporary. I think I can hear you. Hey. Uh, we good? Okay. We're cool. I guess. Oh man, Aim didn't just arrive. They've set up shop. We've got to find Jarvis and get out of here. I'm having the longest shower when we're done here. That must be the archive. Up ahead. Guess Aim took over the place. Still think Mr. Stark's here? I could head through the vents and take a look. Yeah, that works. Oh. Aims everywhere. Uh, you distract them. I'll find a way in. Cold play. We are under attack. <laughs> be deeper inside the building. I'll keep looking. Where they hurt them? Hulk. I need you to destroy this lab. Smash! Restrain the Hulk! You saw the truth, Banner. You were the only one. We're fixing the damage the Avengers did. What we did all those years ago. There is a chance for all those Inhumans to have a better life. We can still save the Inhumans from your fate. They want the cure. He's lying. He's not saving anyone. I wish I didn't have to come to this. I can see you fighting him. You don't want to be this thing. But you're weak. Both of you. If you can't stop the Hulk, then I will. 
I have to. Open now. Please be here, Jarvis. Maybe he's hiding somewhere in this super cool pile of Avenger stuff. I think this belonged to Thor. Maybe it's a secret lever? Oh, no, it's just a cup. Why display pyrite when you can afford the real thing? I should keep looking. Come back for all this someday? From Pepper to Tony. I know I shouldn't be freaking out right now, but I'm freaking out. Tony Stark's guitar! Cap's first shield. This was on display at A-Day. You don't open a secret passageway, do you? What's over here? Sharp guys.
better find Hulk and get out of here. What you got there, Cricket? Why don't you let me have that? I don't think so. Disappointing. Looking well. All units, find the girl and stay out of my way. There's something wrong with you. Something different. Is it... dead? Hey, where are we anyway? Right, I'm talking to myself. Okay. Show me your secrets. According to our lead scientist, we have successfully reverse engineered Terrigen gas. What? Wait, please. Calm down. In a moment, this will all be over. Administer the cure. What, what does that mean? You're hurting him. Where am I? 
promising result. Case 705 has made a remarkable recovery and will be monitored for the next 24 hours. Congratulations. You've been cured. Impossible. We should get out of here. It isn't safe. Yeah. Sure. Uh, well, you can feel free to make it a little more... homey. Oh, thanks. Yeah. You good? I'm not used to you being this quiet. Uh, uh, yeah, it's nothing. Okay. Okay. Good. So, yeah. What if it's real? Oh, sorry, what was that? Uh, the cure. What if it's real? I mean, I mean, it looks real, but oh. what if I could be normal again? <laughs> it, uh... It didn't work like that. I mean, you saw them. It looks like it really hurts, but... But maybe that's worth it? Kamala... I never really fit in before. I mean, uh, superheroes were my world, and I figured if I could just... Uh, if I could just win that fan fiction competition, you know, then everything would just be... Doesn't matter. <laughs> now look at me. I'm a freak. Whoa, you're not a. <sighs> what you did back there. Hey. What you did back there took a lot of guts. Stupid. <laughs> but it still took guts. And not a lot of people could, you know, do that. Good isn't a thing you are. What? It, it's nothing. Um, thank you. This room is really great. Okay. Or it will be. I mean, okay. look at it. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of uh, Um... Good. Yeah, thanks. Okay, I'll go do other things. Okay. All right. Good job, Kamala. That wasn't awkward at all. But now I have my own room on the Chimera. Is this really happening? But the view was amazing when this thing was in the air. Maybe Mr. Stark can fix it. Oh, this place is kind of a mess. I think they were using it for storage or something. I wonder who was staying here before. I should go talk to Bruce. Or I could look around some more now that some of the doors are working. You know, give him some time to forget he saw me crying. Hey, Bruce. Uh, sorry about, um... No, don't worry about it. Any luck with you-know-who? Uh, good timing. I was just about to take a look. Can I get a hand on the other side there? Just push that button. Okay, here goes nothing. Good afternoon, Dr. Banner. Oh. Whoa. We did it. 
Tony Stark's super awesome computer pal. Oh, I'm just a rather very intelligent system. A pleasure to meet you, miss. Uh, con. But you can call me Kamala. A pleasure, miss Kamala. What's going on? The war table isn't getting enough power. The system is on emergency lockdown. Huh. Looks like I tripped the security sensors when I was in the lab. We'll have to disable them. I got this. Okay, Bruce. What am I looking for? All right, you're gonna use the console on the lab table to disable the sensors. Oops. Uh, I think I made it worse. It's okay. Just means you'll need to disable the security sensors manually. Uh, look for the little red lights. How the heck am I supposed to reach them? Really? Oh, right. <laughs> Duh, scratchy arms. Uh, got one. Okay, this is easy. You know, in one of my stories, Iron Man has to shoot out a bunch of street lights to cover for Black Widow sneaking into a Hydra base. Uh huh. That's nice. Didn't think it could actually be a real thing an Avenger did, you know? I mean, uh, uh, not that I'm an Avenger or anything. You're almost done, you know. All right, that did it. All right, come on back. Nice work, Kamala. Okay, Jarvis, let's find Tony. Uh, Jarvis? Searching now. Hold on, something... Something is wrong, Dr. Banner. That's not good. Oh, dear. It appears my neural uplink was damaged when the Chimera crashed. It's highly specific shield technology. Without it, I can't access the global database. Shield? Uh, let's get Maria on the phone. Maria Hill? Is she leading S.H.I.E.L.D. now? Uh, sort of. No one knows what happened to Director Fury, so Hill is the only one I know I can trust. Bruce? It's, uh, it's good to see you. After my run-in with the Hulk, I wasn't sure we'd be hearing from you again. Yeah, sorry about all that. Uh, Hulk's been having some... issues. You don't have to apologize. All our lives fell apart after that day. I'm just glad to see the Avengers back in action. Well, not quite. Hi, Kamala Khan. It's just the two of us for now. We're trying to find Mr. Stark. Yeah, uh, Marie, we're gonna need a neural uplink. You've gotta have one stored somewhere. All of our resources were seized by AIM, and most agents are still in hiding. But I may know where to look. I'm sending the coordinates to your war table. I can brief you on the way. Shall I prep the Quinjet's engine, sir? Uh. What Quinjet? Use the war table to set the Quinjet's destination of your next mission. The coordinates Commander Hill provided lead to an installation in a remote tundra region. I have marked the location on your war table. Missions that are critical to your investigation of AIM will be marked with the Avengers A. I thought that would be appropriate. Did you know this was here the entire time? <laughs> Absolutely not. I swear. Uh-huh. I think you just wanted to go on a road trip in your RV. <laughs> no. 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 I'm giving you access to S.H.I.E.L.D. secure frequency. It should lead you to the bunker. Hang on. I'm getting some interference. Something down there is blocking the track. See if you can find out what. On it. Keep an eye on him, Kapala. Aim hasn't found the bunker, but they can look very close to some things that we need to do. Commander Hill? Hello? Radio's down. Guess it's just us from here. <laughs> Not to worry. I will guide you to the signal jam. There. It's an AIM dropship. Hulk slash AIM. There is an elite AIM unit near you. <gasps> Defeat them, you may gain something. That obstruction should be around here somewhere. Keep an eye out. <laughs> I heard that. You're an Avenger? 
Miss Khan, the shield signal is being blocked by a local AIM security node. I'll need you to get me close to the node so I can disable the disruption. Okay, let's get close to that node thing, Hulk. Jarvis needs to be safe. should be coming through now. Loud and clear. The tracker will lead you to the shield bunker. Follow the beeps, got it. Still can't reach Commander Hill, huh? Gonna try not to let that freak me out. Let's get out of the cold, Hulk. Uh, wait, did you get cold? Data remains inconclusive. Nice work. Let's hope that neural uplink is inside. We'll get you back to yourself in no time, Jarvis. I appreciate the sentiment. It is rather unpleasant existing without instantaneous access to all the information in the known universe. losing your memory? I'm not sure what the human equivalent would be. I suppose it's like being locked out of the library. Oh, like when Ami shuts off the Wi-Fi. Quite. We better start looking. The neural uplink is nearby. Cool. Whoa, whoa. What's happening? I believe we may have triggered a classified shield security system. Avenger detected. Hello, Avengers. It's been a while. Nick Fury. If you're hearing this, then the worst has happened. I'm gone, and that means I need you now more than ever. I always knew S.H.I.E.L.D. might fall, so I made sure it could also rise again. These are the S.H.I.E.L.D. protocols. S.H.I.E.L.D. was built to protect the world. In times like this, when it all seems hopeless, that's when we've got to stand strong. So I need a favor. Deliver these protocols to any remaining subdirector. They'll give S.H.I.E.L.D. what they need to rebuild. Good luck, Avengers. Fury out. Director Fury. Like, like S.H.I.E.L.D.'s Director Fury. Those protocols he was talking about must be inside. Protect the uplink. I think I can upload the protocols to a secure server. We've got to get this data back to the Chimera. You think we can hold them off? <gasps> That's the spirit! Bargain for, didn't we, Jarvis? We'd better get this back to the Chimera. Charting a course now. Now that the neural uplink has been successfully installed, I can access my full database. Director Hill is reviewing the Shield protocols that you also recovered. 
Feeling better, Jarvis? Everything seems to be in working order. You have no idea how much this means to me. To S.H.I.E.L.D. Thank you, Bruce. You too, Kamala. With this, I can start rebuilding S.H.I.E.L.D. in earnest. If you ever need anything, give me a call. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of each other. Looking forward to it, Director. I feel like I should salute or something. No, no need for that. Good luck, both of you. Jarvis, you think you can get us Tony? This will take some time, but I should be able to find Mr. Stark. In the meantime, I've uncovered something that might be of interest to Ms. Khan in the harm room. The what now? The holographic augmented reality machine. Something the Avengers use for training. Whoa, that sounds awesome. I should warn you, the system may be a little irregular. Is this safe? Only 0.0001% chance of injury. Uh... Okay. I trust you, I guess. Proceed through the crew quarters. The harm room is on the lower floor of the hangar bay. Thanks, Jarvis. This is Phil Sheldon, reporting live from the Olympia Research Campus in the Pacific Northwest. What you just witnessed was blurry footage from an older phone, but there's no mistaking what it shows. The Incredible Hulk wreaking havoc somewhere in the Pacific Northwest. I received this from an anonymous source who described waking up in his campsite to the sound of gunfire, screaming, and an unmistakable roar. He approached the chaos with caution and captured this exclusive footage of the Green Goliath fighting what appear to be some kind of armed soldiers. We know this area is close to an old Stark Industries archive. So the question on many minds today is, are we seeing the re-emergence of the Avengers? And if so, does that herald a return of the Age of Heroes? Or the horror of A-Day all over again? This is where the Avengers hung out. Do you think there's still soda in these? Eh, probably all flat after five years. It's still hard to believe all this is real. I mean... I just flew on a Quinjet to a secret S.H.I.E.L.D. base. Uh, we saw Nick Fury, and, and now I'm talking to Jarvis and not keeping my cool at all. <laughs> Sorry. No need to apologize, Miss Khan. Snow's all melted by now. AIM can't track this thing, can they? The Quinjet is equipped with highly advanced cloaking technology. Our location is safe for the time being. Good. Uh, ready. Powering up. Whoa! Uh, what? Welcome to the holographic augmented reality machine. I'm Iron Man! Indeed. I've patched in Mr. Stark's old combat simulator. I hope you don't mind. Are you kidding? I am Iron Man! <laughs> Do your worst, virtual bad guys! If you wish, but I believe I've located Mr. Stark. Oh, uh, on my way. Mr. Stark's last known location is his ancestral home, Golden Acres. You may be able to find a clue to his current whereabouts there. I ever heard of it. He really does not want to be found. Indeed not. The estate was located in a remote area of Nevada. I can provide you with the precise coordinates. Check out the fancy drawbridge. Uh, typical, subtle Tony. After you. <sighs> I can't believe we're about to knock on Tony Stark's door. <sighs> Me neither. Looks like the controls are on the other side. 
You think you can find a way over there? I mean, I could break through those rocks, but the green guy isn't the best at talking things out. Good point. being the Hulk. You gotta like something. Uh, we should really focus on the drawbridge. What are you gonna do? Stand around in silence the whole time? <sighs> yeah, great idea. Eh, suit yourself. <laughs> More rocks? No problem. Are you okay? Uh, uh, I'm fine. I can see Golden Acres! Uh, kinda. Great. So, can you jump over and lower the bridge? Sure thing! You can make that jump. Just a little farther this time. <sighs> uh, made it! Still waiting on that bridge, Kamala. Uh, it's stuck on something. Oh, is it jammed? Hang on, I think I got it. <laughs> Ta-da! I hereby grant you passage to Sir Stark's fancy castle. <laughs> okay, calm down. Nice job. Sounds like he's up, at least. Isn't that one of his top five songs to kick, uh, butt to? Yep. Good old number four. And hello, Golden Acres! Oh. This can't be it. Let's get this over with. So Tony Stark, the Tony Stark lives here? Oh, here so. Tony? Hey, Bruce. Long night? Ooh, long five years. <laughs> Um, well, this is quiet. Yeah. It was. I... Uh. Hey, back off! Hi, I'm sorry. Who are you? Uh, Kamala? Well, uh, Kamala, your Emeraldite friend here is kind of on my shit list. Okay. I deserve it. Yeah, you're damn right you deserved it. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Did you even check the science? Did you check It was a the heist, science? Bruce. No. We were outsmarted. No. The Terrigen reactor was unstable, <sighs> and you knew that, you knew that, and you still paraded it before the entire world. So what? We just give up? We didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. No. No, we failed him. We failed him. Tony, I don't know how long you're gonna be mad at me, and to be honest with you, I don't really care. Take as long as you want. But, but the kid is inhuman. We did this. And she needs your help. I, I can't, I can't. You can't what, you're ditching me? Hey, don't take it personally, kid. No, this is what he does, isn't it? 
And why don't you take a good look around, huh? I can barely help myself. <laughs> this was a mistake. Now we agree on something. So you're both just gonna walk away? The Avengers were set up. Cap was murdered. You think I don't know that? Huh? I've replayed that day in my head a thousand times. The Avengers take the fall despite saving the day, and that bastard Charlton walks away smelling like a rose. And guess what? Guess what? No one cares. No one cares. The world needed someone to blame, and he gave them their scapegoat. So, unless you have some kind of astounding proof, I suggest you both get off my land. What is that? Proof. This better be good. Kind of buried the lead, you know. Could have told me about that earlier. No, no, no. No sitting on my couch. You're still on the list. Where did you get this? Guess your password on some resistance blog. Impressive. Dude, your password was I am Iron Man. Really? Huh. Thought I'd change that. Son of a... I know, it's incomplete. There's a whole folder on AIM's server. No, no, there's there's more here. What? Yeah, look, it's smart. They encrypted it to look like a corrupt file. Need a few hours, I'll get all the rest. What is this? Who is, who is Tiny Dancer? Oh no. We gotta get out of here. What? You know this shameless Elton John fan? They helped me get out of Jersey. I wouldn't be here if they hadn't warned me about AIM. Really? Tiny dancer. Look, we really should go. Now. I would have gone with Rocket Man. Okay. I gotta get dressed. You have a suit? Yeah. Maybe, sort of. We'll see. Excuse me while I slip into something less comfortable. Ah, of course Bruce tries to saddle me with a stray fangirl. After all these years, he still can't own up to his own responsibility. Oh, son of a... Well, looks like Tiny Dancer was telling the truth. you, Bruce. Yeah, don't judge me, Grandpa. I'm doing my best. Oh, great Nana's flying machine. Still a thing of beauty. Can't say the same about her. Let's get airborne. More party crashers. Gotta be around here somewhere. Good thing I don't have neighbors. They'd be so pissed off right now. Ah! 
You always love to make an entrance, Stark. How did I do? Uh, I'll give you a seven out of ten. Good to see you, Georgie boy. Been working out? Really any other billion dollar companies lately? Just yours. Hey! You're gonna pay for that window, Tarleton! This is your new place? But I expected more mirrors. I got rid of everything that didn't spark joy. Guess what pile you're in? Turn the girl over, Stark. And that will get you off my lawn. Uh, Mr. Stark. I'm joking, kid. Just stay near the nice green man. The girl needs our help. Well, you know, she seems fine to me. Inhumans are sick. They need a treatment. <laughs> Do people actually buy that crap? How's Charlton controlling these machines? I don't know. He got powers after the accident. I saw him controlling a robotic spider thing once. Well, he's leveled up from spiders. <laughs> Nice moves, kiddo. Yeah, Lala. You have looked down on me from the moment we met. Let me introduce you to what I like to call technokinesis. Catchy. Rolls right off the tongue. Stay close to the Hulk. Or as close as he'll let you. No. I got this. Watch. Wait! You're not ready for... Or maybe you are. I'm surprised to see you and Banner together again. Well, Percy and I are seeing something about our issue. She's great. Short, stretchy, really good at guessing passwords. Still putting the weak in danger. You never learn. Weak? Is that why you sent an army to take her down? Right? It's kind of a compliment, actually. I like you more every second, kid. <laughs> Synthetics were useless. 
If you'd let me deal with the Hulk and Khan earlier, the Archive would still be standing. Watch your words. You no longer make the rules. He does. When I was young, I found an orphaned wolf cub in the forest behind our farm. What? Dad said it was too dangerous. He told me to get rid of it. I fed that cub. I named him. I watched him play with my beloved dog, Darwin. You're wasting my time. I felt if I could instill rules, the proper boundaries, I could harness the raw power of that beast. Are you done rambling? Almost. A few months later, while hunting, the adolescent cub turned on me, snarling, frothing at the mouth. Darwin bought me a few precious moments to call for help. My dad shot the wolf, but it was too late. Darwin had been torn to pieces. George. We need him. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Leave. Please. Jarvis! You haven't aged a day. Welcome back, Mr. Stark. Missed you, buddy. You flying free? In full working order. Give me the worst of it. The Chimera is running on secondary power. Major hull damage is also detected. Engines are offline. Climate... So it's bad. That is an accurate assessment. Okay, we gotta get this bird airborne. <laughs> Excuse me? AIM knows it's here. So it needs to not be here when they get here. What? All right. While we work on cleanup, you mind taking a look at something for me? Certainly, sir. See what you can do about decrypting this file. At once. Gotta see why the turbines won't activate. Better check out the initiator cores in the hangar. Do I want to know what's going on here? Hey, Tony. Just lending my, um, technical knowledge to Bruce here. Well, I can see I have my work cut out for me. Not helping, Tony. I'm Phil Sheldon, reporting live from somewhere in rural Utah. Where are we again? I don't... Oh. Oh, I'm live. Okay. Following Ames' emergency public warning today, I can confirm that Iron Man and the Hulk were seen together in a remote area of Utah, apparently resisting arrest by local authorities. Meanwhile, on the East Coast, a small crowd gathered in New Jersey's Heroes Park to celebrate their reappearance after more than four years, but they were quickly dispersed by police. An Ames spokeswoman called any celebration pre-A-Day thinking and cautioned that Iron Man and the Hulk have shown alarming signs of mental instability in recent years. We've all seen what can happen when beings with this kind of power operate outside the law, and that's what they're doing now, she warned. We won't risk the loss of any more American cities, end quote. It... Wait, wasn't this working before? Okay, Jarvis. Time me. 1.04 seconds, sir. Huh. Guess I'm a bit rusty. Jarvis, pop question. Where do we keep the spark plugs? The initiator cores can be found in the far corner of the lower deck, sir. Correct, Amundo. Do I win a prize now, sir? You win the biggest prize of all. My affection. How exciting. Oh, yeah. That looks perfectly up to safety standards. I think I've found the problem. I just... Oh! It's definitely the initiator cores. Wait, don't the bigger aim bots use similar cores? If we could get a hold of one, I could get this old bird in the air in no time. Indeed, sir. But someone would need to procure said initiator cores. Yeah, I barely have a suit. Maybe I could cobble something together. 
I'll search inventory for leftover pieces of armor. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Tony, I'm still working on the door, but can you check on Kamala? I think she may have turned off her comms. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, this whole thing, it's uh, probably a tough adjustment. You got it. Second floor of the old crew quarters, right? Jarvis, can you see if she's even up there? Sir, there are no surveillance systems in the private quarters. Whose terrible hippie idea was that? Yours, sir. Right. Sir, in case you were wondering, your old room is still intact. Well, I guess I'm about to barge into a teenager's room. You. Whoa. Hey! Sorry? You should have knocked. I was trying. I uh, was knocking fist. Jarvis, help me out here. It appears the locking mechanisms on some of the Chimera's crew quarters have not been enabled. There you have it. I will fix that. Please do. I'm gonna meet up on the command deck in about ten minutes. You should, uh, you should come. I know, I... I look ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Of course you do. Man... No, 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 no. We all do. It's part of the job. Have you seen Thor's outfit? Flowing robe, Vegas shoulder pads, I mean, pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I am digging this, uh... Oh, it's a burkini. My mom bought it for me. Muslim ladies like to wear it for sports and stuff. It's great. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna change. Wait, 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 wait. The outfit is, is all about attitude. You gotta wear it like you mean it. Show me what you got. Come on, you can do better than that. Yeah, now we're talking? All right. You know what? Maybe I can help you with some upgrades for that. Gear's already spinning. Really? Yeah. Oh, and if Bruce says anything, just remind him that all he wears are super stretchy shorts. <laughs> Bruce, the kid's fine. She's tough. Kind of like her. And she laughs at my jokes. Yeah, she, uh, she grows on you. Hey, uh, meet me at the tech lab. I've almost got this door fixed. You got it, stretchy pants. Sorry, what was that? Nothing. On my way. You're still working on this door, huh? Well, I just need to remove the entire junction box and reconnect... Ah! Great job, buddy. See? Wasn't so hard. Place is starting to really come to life again, eh? You fishing for a compliment? No, no, never. Just making an observation. Fine. Thanks for helping to fix things up, Tony. See? That wasn't so hard, was it? Home sweet home. All right, if we're gonna get anywhere, we'll need to establish an alternate power source. The Chimera was built for Terrigen, but I can convert it to run on something a little less explodey. I'm scanning the region for sources, but it'll take some time to identify potential initiator core heat signatures. Well, in the meantime, I need a new suit. Where can I find parts to repair the fabrication unit? I've located a good salvage spot and have sent the coordinates to the war table. When you're ready. War table, got it. Fix the fabrication unit, get a shiny new suit, then get this bird off the ground. All right, first stop. No way I'm gonna be any help fixing up the Chimera without my own upgrade. Jarvis, what do you got for me? AIM is moving an experimental dropship, which could be appropriated for parts to repair the fabrication machine. Unfortunately, it's extremely well guarded. But AIM's local defenses are designed around a large-scale air assault. If I fly in alone, using the canyon for cover, I should be able to slip through and jack the dropship. It's risky, but I don't see an alternative at this point. I'll upload the dropship's last known location to your HUD. The canyon walls prevent me from fully confirming the intel. I suggest you work quickly. Well, I'm not exactly rocking a state-of-the-art suit, but it should get me there in one piece. 
Two, Max. We need to move fast. Updating your HUD. AIM appears aware of our intrusion. How about we call this a surprise visit? Intrusion makes it sound like we're the bad guys. Noted, sir. Acquisition trip it is. I'm not sure how long our quarry will remain at its location. I hear you. We should hurry. It's interesting how many of AIM's systems look closely related to your designs. George never was an original thinker. Makes them compatible though, which is handy. How much firepower does AIM have down here? Rather a lot, it would seem. And how much was built with tech they stole from Stark Industries after A-Day? It's impossible to say at this stage. Possibly rather a lot. Karma is not my friend. Bruce had backed me up five years ago. Water under the bridge, sir. Yeah, crappy water under a crappy bridge. The suit's doing great. Isn't calling it a suit rather general? <laughs> ah, that's funny. The AI sassy, I said. It'll be fun, I said. Elevator goes to the landing pad we need. Gotcha. Look at this. Which nation state is AIM planning to go to war with? Those munitions also appear similar to your designs. Makes a guy sort of want to blow them up. Access the elevator. agree, sir. It's safe to say Dr. Tarleton would relish the chance to dance on your grave. Thanks, Jarvis. Now I'm stuck with a mental image of George doing the robot on my headstone. Apologies, sir. If I'm correct, the dropship should be just up ahead. Well, this place looks homey. Where the hell is my dropship? Scanning. The dropship was moved to a more secure location ahead. We can't get there before it takes off. We can if we overcharge the suit by 300% and take the direct route. Sir, you might literally explode. And that canyon is treacherous. Sure, but I feel the need for speed. Do it, Goose, and play something fast. George burned Golden Acres to the ground. I'm not losing it. The gloves are making weird noises. Unsurprising. You just lost an acoustic dampening circuit. Keep going, sir. Jarvis, this is my shot to make up for A-Day, help the kid, and, if I'm honest, stick it to Georgie Boy. You're damn right I'll keep going. The dropship's powering up. Watch out! Their artillery's targeting you! Incoming! On it! The dropship's shielded! Use all the juice left in the suit to get an EMP burst ready for me to trigger! Yes, sir. 
I've scanned the dropship and it contains the needed parts to repair the Chimera's fabrication machine. Excellent. Let's check in on the kids and head home. Bruce, Kamala, you read me? Loud and clear. Uh, Bruce is in the harm room pretending to be, uh... I don't even want to know. So, any luck out there? Success. We'll all be in new threads soon. The fabrication machine should be back online in no time. Great. Can't wait to make Bruce a new pair of yoga pants. Well, that was fun. Gotta say, it's nice to be back in the saddle. Yes, sir. You haven't missed a beat. Ah, glad to see that flattery upgrade kicked in. Now, let's take a peek at our loot. Ah, we hit the jackpot, buddy. This is exactly what I need to fix the fabrication machine. Glad to hear it. Especially as your current suit is now... How do you put it? Kaput. Hey, hey. Did the job, right? I thought this tech looked familiar. These are all based on my designs. Some are near exact. They're sure taking advantage of the Stark tech acquisition. I was kind of hoping they'd just sit on the assets. Utah residents, did you feel an earthquake this morning? The United States Geological Survey measured a 4.1 quake just to the west of the Escalante Desert. Advanced Idea Mechanics, who has a factory near the earthquake's epicenter, reported no injuries or property damage. They dismissed persistent online reports that they were testing experimental explosives as baseless conspiracy theories. Right. That is more like it. Don't it look amazing, Jarvis? Take my picture. Well done, sir. Finally feeling like my old self. Along with the fabrication machine, I've managed to route power to various other areas, including the inventory vault. I'm detecting some old equipment in your vault, sir. Should I incinerate it? What? No. That's not trash, Jarvis. It's my stuff. I'll go take a look. As you wish. The big guy's looking a little peaked. Something going on with him? <sighs> it's complicated. I can whistle and do multivariable integrals in my head at the same time, man. Try me. Uh, long story short, um, Cap's death really affected Hulk. Wait, are you saying the big guy is depressed? Unstable, confused, um, not as focused. Okay, let's keep an eye on that situation. Still can't believe they found this thing. Miss you, buddy. Sir, my heat signature's scans have detected two potential sources of initiator cores. Potential? Why potential? Unfortunately, due to AIM security systems, Determining the actual source of the heat signatures at this range is impossible. Ugh, another word I don't like. Okay, then we double our chances. Bruce, Kamala, meet me at the war table. We're on our way. All right, guys, we've got work to do. Nice suit. Touche. How can we help? Jarvis has found a couple heat signatures that might be concentrations of initiator cores, but they're in completely separate locations. Since time is of the essence, we're going to need to hit both locations simultaneously. Bruce, you and Kamala need to search the outskirts of the Badlands while I investigate a city on the eastern seaboard. Hopefully one of these spots yield us those initiator cores. You got it. Jarvis, how much longer? Approaching the location shortly, sir. Great. We've got to find those initiator cores and get back to fixing. It's only a matter of time before AIM pinpoints the Chimera's location, and we need our base of operations up and running. Oh, I look so good in this suit. Dashing, sir. You are right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where is everyone? Seems AIM has evacuated the city due to heavy inhuman activity. 
Sounds like an excuse to experiment on dangerous technology. Maybe your heat signature hunch was right. A giant stash of initiator cores could power their experiments. The facility is heavily guarded. Expect resistance upon your arrival. You mean they won't be happy to see me? Shocking. This place is a ghost town. Jarvis, how far is the facility? A few meters up ahead, sir. Hover scout platforms. Is there anything AIM didn't steal from me? There is a chest with gear close by. Anyone else nearby? Civilians? Evacuation began this morning. Look for a chest with gear nearby. Multiple hostiles detected near the laboratory. Be mindful on your approach. Well, no, Jarvis, you can't be sure they're hostile till they're shooting at you. Get me in range of their pop-up access junction for long enough and I'll get us in. Keep Ames units out of range or the hack may be disrupted. security systems. My improved readings of the heat signature suggest that this may in fact be a much larger power source. So, not initiator cores? It's difficult to say, but our detected intrusion has caused AIM to initiate a self-destruct sequence. And based on the size of the heat signature... Let me guess, it could level a few blocks? That is correct, sir. Well, AIM's not destroying another city on my watch. Oh, no. Not good. Not good at all. This is my arc reactor technology, but supersized. This could level cities. What is AIM thinking? Oh. Hello there, handsome. Sir, the reactors are becoming increasingly unstable. You must shut it down. Taking out those amplifiers are the only way to shut it down. You've successfully destroyed the arc reactor. Well, that's not something I ever expected to hear you say. Let's salvage what we can and get out of here. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, just, you know, I made it for all the right reasons. That's what I told myself. Look at what happened. The Terrigen reactor, A-Day. Now this... I can't control what other people do with my tech, but I can't pretend it's out of my hands anymore. I'm proud of you, sir. Yeah. I'm proud of me, too. Speaking of trouble, Bruce, Kamala, any luck with those initiator cores? Uh, working on it. Okay, kids. Counting on you finding this second heat signature. Hopefully it yields us a bounty of initiator cores. It won't be long till AIM pinpoints the location of the Chimera, and without a base of operations, yeah, well, we won't have much of a chance. So, don't let me down. And good luck. Um, that's 
a lot of pressure. No, it's... Yeah, definitely. Okay. I can't let Mr. Stark down. Jarvis, where should I start? The second heat signature has a few scattered spots surrounding a rather large center, suggesting a significant concentration of potential initiator cores. It must be stored in a single location. A structure, perhaps. Got it. Jarvis? Yes, Miss Khan. Is it me, or is the Hulk not his bright green cell? It appears Dr. Banner has been struggling with the passing of our beloved captain, Miss Khan. From his recorded memos, he returned to Chimera determined to solve the events of A Day, but instead grew more frustrated with his perceived failings. Oh, of course. Bruce feels guilty. It seems they all do, Miss Khan. They burnt out the core. They're trying to destroy as many as possible. Then we must hurry. Target spotted. That's the Hulk! We need backup out here! these guys. They aren't the normal aim tin can. Miss Khan, I believe they may be part of a group who call themselves the Watchdogs, a radical anti-superhero organization. Great. Looks like they're working for aim now. We have scavenged every part of this desert by now. It's not gonna be enough. <sighs> Am I alone? What? Where are all the other Inhumans? Why aren't they fighting back? I... I... I've seen the Resistance symbols. I've heard rumors of a rebellion, but still nothing? I don't feel sick at all. I've never felt more alive. What if I'm wrong? I know what that feels like. These powers are a part of us. And all I do know, it's a lot better if you just embrace that. Or something like that. My dad used to say the same thing. Well, he's a more guy. <laughs> the best. You should head back to the Chimera. Okay. Stay where you are. Come on, man. A uh, kid and an old guy. Old guy. All right. Dr. Pym will see you now. D H Hank Pym? Hank? Bruce? What are you doing out here? I could ask you the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's good to see you, man. Good to see you. Uh, Kamala, this is... Dr. Hank Pym. 
Ant-Man? That was, uh, another life. Follow me. Okay, so this is the heat signature we've been searching for. We have been salvaging weapons, robots, aim tech, anything we can to build up our defenses. Think you could spare some of these initiator cores? You know, help out a helicarrier in need of some TLC? I imagine we can make some arrangements. Thank you very much. What <laughs> is this place? We call it the Ant Hill. Oh. Not my idea. I think it was one of our anonymous hackers, Tiny Dancer. No way. So, so they're all... Inhumans, yes. Many of them were prisoners at a name facility. I guess they were fighting back after all. Make yourself at home. We've got lots to catch up on. This place is more than I ever imagined. Oh, hey, Banners, buddy. You got a sec? You're the portal guy. That would be me, Theo the portal guy at your service. I'm Kamala. Your powers are awesome. Oh, thanks, but you should talk to Sarah. She's up ahead next to the big surveillance screen and is dying to meet you. Me? Okay. Welcome to the Ant Hill, our little home of misfits. You were in San Francisco on A Day? Bingo. Me and my sister both. Sister? Where is she? Rolling around here somewhere. You'll know her when you see her. You were in San Francisco on A Day? Bingo. Me and my sister both. Sister? Where is she? Hey, I could use your help. Hi, you're Pim's desert crawling friend. Did AIM send you here to spy on us? What? No. I'm kidding. I've got cameras in a bunch of those dead mechs you passed in the desert. It was pretty fun watching you kick watchdog butt. Oh, thanks. I'm Sarah Garza, and the whispers about you are already fierce. Good whispers? Hell yeah, we want you on our team. You ever have spare cycles? I've got plenty that needs doing. Hey, I could use your help. I don't know what this is, but I bet Sarah will be excited about it. You got a sec? Ah, exactly what the doctor ordered. Thanks a bunch. No problem. Happy to help. Want to know a secret? The robots around here are all Pim's pet projects. We've got the first Mark I hanging out in the gear shack next to the stairs. Literally. He's hard to miss. Okay. Guess I can go take a look. Welcome. Greetings, first-time customer. Do you require my services? Uh, sorry, sorry, I I'm staring. Sorry. I have no feelings regarding your ocular direction. Every trace of my past has been erased for security purposes. Oh, that's kind of... sad. My programming deemed it inefficient to be attached to such redundancies. I only receive joy through mutual transaction. So, the more I buy, the happier you get? Correct. My programming is limited to accepting your requests. Appropriate value received. Thank you. I wish my programming allowed me to feel joy at our interaction. Instead, I must Don't freak out, things. but Dr. Maddie Cho wants to see you in her office. Oh, uh, what? Dr. Maddie Cho is me. Drop by the lab. I'll hook you up with some goodies. Hey, Avenger. You look like someone who wants to talk to me. Dang, look at you. I am liking the whole vibe. I'm Maddie, resident bio genius. Don't tell Pim I said that. Or Banner. Secret safe with me. You called me to your office? Yes, though I am not an inhuman, I am a purveyor of goodies, gear, and gadgets. If you need anything to make you faster, stronger, or stretchier, I'm your gal. What do you get out of it? Being smarter than everybody else. 
Bring me the right materials and I'll build you gear to make AIM weep. I've already got some prototypes. Take a look. Cool, cool, cool. Look all you like. I'm in awe. I, I might be drooling. Can I help you with any of this stuff? Not right this minute. But you could help Pimsy with a little zinger. Check out the war table. He'll fill you in. War table it is. Chin up, shoulders back. You're doing just fine. I think it's time to show AIM what I can really do. What do you think, Jarvis? I think you can accomplish anything you set your mind to, Miss Khan. Okay, now that we've got some muscle on our side, I think we should hit one of AIM's testing labs. We know they've been experimenting on inhumans in small rural communities. I'd like to get my hands on whatever research they've been collecting. Sounds good. We crashed one of their big labs in the Pacific Northwest. Olympia Archive? Impressive. We wondered who was responsible for taking that place down. Thanks. We didn't get out with a lot of information, but now maybe we can find out more. AIM has been setting up bases in small towns throughout the rural west. We suspect they've been using these as testing labs and capturing the local inhuman populace for their experiments. I can't believe all this has been happening right under the government's nose. Well, they have a lot of power in Washington and financial connections to every major corporation. AIM has had five years to set down their roots. Taking them down is not gonna be easy. Well, we gotta start somewhere. It's up to us to do the right thing. <laughs> Spoken like another Avenger I once knew. Welcome to Venture Ridge, Wyoming. This was one of AIM's go-to holding sites for Inhumans before the prison was built. After they moved in, most of the residents were evacuated. Got it. Keep an eye out for AIM patrols. They won't take kindly to your presence. With any luck, we'll be able to capture intel that could shed some light on what they've been doing to your people. I've marked the facility on your HUD. Thank you for doing this. The least I can do. You guys kept me going when things seemed hopeless. Just knowing the resistance was out there meant we had a chance. The odds finally seem to be tipping in our favor. Do you think we'll find something to prove AIM is hurting in humans? AIM keeps their data well guarded. We haven't been able to get anything solid. We just have the word of the Inhumans. I'm afraid that's not enough. One of our resistance so allies is close by and could use some help. Years? Not intentionally. At least not in the beginning. A lot of us were captured by AIM early on. After we realized nobody was coming for us, we broke out and started making our own plans. Yeah. Nice work! Got some bad guys. Where do you think they're keeping the inhumans? Research labs usually hold them in specific containment units. They like to have them nearby while they're running their tests. Don't ask why. You'll need to take out the security node. That did not go as planned. What do we do? If you destroy the two transformers on the upper level, the elevator door should open. Keep them coming! Did it. Let's get in there. So you were a prisoner too? Why'd they capture you if you aren't inhuman? According to Tarleton, anyone with powers is a threat. 
They made sure I'll never use mine again. Altered my physiology, so if I change size, I'll die. I'm so sorry. Abe's here! Where to? Records show a secure lab at the end of this hallway. Look for a chest with gear nearby. Where's the lab? You sure this is the right place? I've nearly breached Ames network. They're hiding something. Stand by and see to the Aim forces. Oh, they'll get seen to. Please work fast, Jarvis. As fast as my processor allows, sir. <laughs> Seems AIM intends to physically remove some kind of research samples from their experiment. An automated transport ship is preparing for takeoff. Whatever's on that transport, I want it captured. Get to it before it leaves. I'm bypassing their security now. Stand by. How do we stop that thing taking off? I don't know if we can, but I could attempt to divert the transport from its intended destination. Excellent idea. See if you can reprogram its destination to the anthill. Looks like we made it just in time. Get close to those terminals so I can infiltrate their network. We must control all three to override the transport's navigation systems. Be on guard. AIM will try to regain control of the terminals. Why don't you guys take a break? It's taking off! Jarvis, tell me you got it. Yes, sir. On four seconds to spare. Transport should be arriving at the anthill within the hour. Excellent work, everyone. Head back here and we'll begin digging through those AIM research samples. Well, that didn't go quite according to plan. We've got some valuable research samples, but AIM is far more powerful than I had anticipated. And they've got so many of my people. We have to stop them. Agreed, Kamala, but we need some time to regroup. When Tony gets here with the Chimera, We'll be in a much better position to go on the offensive. Okay. But we can't wait too much longer. Okay, head back to the anthill and we'll talk about next steps. You mentioned we. Just you and Kamala? Yeah, uh, no, no. Tony's uh, back on the Chimera. <laughs> so you two are talking again, eh? Something like that? Uh, actually, I have Kamala to think. She was the one who found the big guy. Fire powers? That's intense. Hey, are you okay? Fine. Cool powers. I mean, <laughs> they look awesome. Um, I'm a polymorph, I think. It's cool, it's like, like stretchy arms and stuff. Uh, still working on making it not look goofy, but... You're inhuman. Yeah. So what's your name? Dante. Kamala. Hey, what happened? I broke my leg during the escape. Well, at least you made it out, right? My mom came back for me. Yeah, I made it out. And she was captured. Well, the Avengers are on the way here in a couple days, okay? They're gonna take back the prison and... 
Your mom's gonna be fine, A couple believe days? Me. Why isn't anyone listening to me? I overheard Dr. Pym. They're moving all the prisoners to a new location. Well... Ugh. They'll find that, too. God, no, they won't. Your Avengers will be too late. Here, let me help <gasps> you. No! Don't you get it? We're inhuman. No one cares about us. That's not true. I've got to tell Bruce. We could do something. I've got to convince Bruce and Dr. Pym to go back to the prison. Roy, I need you to send one of your disposable chassis to the Camaro with a few supplies. And Roy, stealth will be key. Right away, Doctor. I'm gonna say it, it's, it's just genius. Hey, got a sec? Yeah, 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 what's up? Aim's moving the Inhumans to a more secure location. Soon. Okay. You've been talking to Dante? I'm sorry, who, who's Dante? One of our inhuman survivors. We were able to get him out, but his mother is still inside, and our escape caused AIM to shore up security. Gotcha. Look, we have to help them. That's not a good idea. What? There's inhumans in there. I don't understand. Dante's we're, mom, we I can't just sit around and do nothing. We're not gonna sit around and do nothing, okay? Roy just left with the energy cores. It means Tony's gonna be here in less than a day. We need to wait. I don't understand. We have the Hulk. Mama, the Resistance has been trying to infiltrate that facility for months. Getting out was far easier than getting in, and we, we had help. From the ground, its walls are nearly impenetrable. You saw what we did back there. I could help. But it's too risky. You want to help? You don't There's understand. You're not inhuman. You're not ready. I'm sorry. We wait. Sorry, I can't just... I can't do nothing. Kamala Khan. You are not asleep. True. I see. I shall inform Dr. Pym. Uh, could you not? All right. Good evening. You're Roy, right? Correct. This refurbished resistance unit falls under my control. It is one of many. So you're kind of like Jarvis. No, not like Jarvis. My neural network is infantile in comparison. One day, perhaps. Would you care to socialize? Why are you keeping my secret? You are the inhuman granted protection by Jarvis. You are fortunate to have earned such a privilege. Thanks. I guess. It is a beautiful night, is it not? Are you always... around? I try to make myself as accessible as possible. Creepy, but... okay. Theo is on shift. Uh, thanks. You're not gonna tell Bruce either, are you? I have yet to establish a rapport with Dr. Bruce Banner that would require such candor. That's a yes? Yes. Hey, Kamala. You still up this late? Yeah, I... was going to lie, but I'm going to the prison. 
They wouldn't be moving those prisoners if it wasn't for us. Respect. Right this way. Really? Just like that? I've got a good feeling about you. But you're gonna need this. It's not safe out there. Thanks, Theo. Those Inhumans need our help. If this works, then all's forgiven. I hope. <sighs> okay, Kamala, this is the real deal. Just keep it together. Get to the cells. Free the Inhumans. Piece of cake. Hmm. Cake. Just get these open, and I'm in. Can we just pretend you never saw me? Avengers are spotted. terms of our agreement were clear. We deliver a cure. You control the media. And we've more than held up our end, but this cure of yours? Children being ripped away from their families? People missing? <laughs> Even my resources have their limits. The public needs answers. I'm giving you something better. The launch of the Adaptoids will be the perfect distraction. <clears throat> and after? Without proof that your cure works, words like terrorism are being bandied about in some of my circles. Oh, it will work, Senator. I have the utmost confidence in Dr. Rappuccini's abilities. How much of that was a lie? The effect of the gas is still only temporary. And without my formula to keep them alive, well, the gas... Kills them. This isn't working! That gas gave us the Adaptoid. My formula kept you alive. Now if I could isolate how it manifests within the Inhumans, I know I can reverse the effects. There are more opportunities here! We have enough powers harvested to build your army. It's time we cut our losses. Shut it down. Oh my 
doing? I don't even like kids. This maintenance is actually to Monica's lab. Odds are good Kamala's there. Adaptoids. I've only seen these things on paper. Carlton's making an army in here. Digs. Now I know who's really running the show. Years of undercover work, and a kid from Jersey City brings me right to the heart of Ames' operation. Scream's evil supervillain lab. Monica's lab, all right. Let's find out where they've got the girl. Who the hell are you thinking, kid? We should have stayed put. Of course. Okay. Where are you? Dark Jerichen. None of your so-called cures ever work, Monica. You're provoking her powers. It's killing her. You're not even looking for a cure anymore. The formula keeps inhumans alive just long enough to copy their powers. It's just a cover for your twisted experiments. Stealing powers to create adaptoids. I have to find Kamala. All right. You look new. Suppose we can talk this out. Time to join your friends. I can't tell you how many times I wanted to punch your smug artifact. Satisfying than I am that. left. Fine. I could do this all day.
hoping I'd meet you. an army of these things at his control. We could be in trouble. Gotcha! Tiny Dancer. Doesn't have as much bite as Black Widow, does it? Took you long enough to figure it out. I thought you were the brains behind this operation. I am. It's nice to be appreciated. Take a stab. You and George are using inhumans for your death. Rates. That regenerative formula keeps them alive just long enough for you to harvest the power. That's part of it. But I have grander aspirations. Replacing the Avengers. Not everything's about you. to shut it off. Monica, nice suit. You've caused me enough problems. And I'm not done yet. Where's the girl, Monica? Oh, not so easy as that. Where are you taking the Inhumans? Somewhere safe. You can't have all my toys. Of course people are toys to you. No, not toys. Noble sacrifices to the greater good. That guy's bingo. Are you twisting your mustache inside that suit? Mock me. But everything I've done has been for the future of humankind. Your prisoners are human too, Mark. Collateral damage is inevitable. You should know this better than most. I've heard that argument before. It always ends with people dying. Doesn't everything with you. What's that supposed to mean? I haven't forgotten a day. Neither have I. The Avengers have done enough damage. Caused enough lives. The world saw that on a day. We don't need you anymore. Keeping people in cages, I'm not going anywhere. I've had to play nice for five years. Damn, it feels good to finally kick your ass. You read my mind. Wouldn't you like to know? Oh, damn it. You won't get off that easy. I've got a special guest here. Binder. She's coming with us. Anybody need a lift? Finally. Hey, have you seen a teenage girl? Brown hair about yay high? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, in the, in the cells. Uh, she wouldn't come with us, though. Just go. Kamala. Black 
Puerto? What, what are you doing? Come on. Let's get out of here. Uh, I'm, I'm going home. Uh, to, to Jersey. Um, I don't know who I was kidding. I'm no hero. I don't know. I got a quinjet full of people who would disagree with you. I couldn't control it. I... I keep passing out. I... I blew it. Hey... Mistakes are gonna happen. To be honest... Jersey wasn't my finest hour either. Tiny Dancer? Look, kid. You're already a hero. The only one left to convince is yourself. Come on. Let's get the hell out of here. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I must have. Mm. It's okay. Why don't you, uh, why don't you get inside? Tiny dancer. It's good to see you too, Bruce. So, how'd you like that daring rescue in the nick of time? You fishing for a compliment, Tony? Meet me on the command deck, all right? We have a short window to make our next move while AIM's still on the back foot. Right, right. Pleasantries later. Got it. Sound check. One, two, three. Are we... are we on? Can you hear me? <sighs> okay. Okay, hold on. A buzz of excitement has settled over New Jersey and Heroes Park as we count down the hours to the AIM experience. CEO Dr. George Tarleton has promised nothing short of a revolutionary announcement as the organization prepares to unveil their latest suite of technology, including their cutting-edge Adaptoid AI. After five years, AIM shows no sign of slowing down. If I can editorialize for a moment, as one who covered the emergence of the Age of Heroes and the sense of hope and excitement that followed, this feels similar, but even more inspiring because it's normal human ingenuity creating the technological renaissance that continues to change the way we live. It's hard to believe that five years ago, the nation mourned one of its shining cities. We've come a long way. And in this reporter's opinion, it's an exciting time to be alive. Okay, Tony, we need to show the world what AIM's been up to. And I've got the perfect opportunity. The AIM experience in Manhattan. The media launch for Tarleton's new adaptoids. Every network will be there. I think it would be a perfect place for a few dozen missing inhumans to suddenly reappear. We have to be careful, though. AIM will bury the truth and kill any remaining prisoners rather than risk exposure. We'll need the location of their lab so we can lock it down. Good thing you captured Tarleton's second in command. If someone can get her to slip, it'll be Bruce. He's already volunteered. Not bad, Tony. Head on down to the interrogation room. I'll let Bruce know he's on deck. Ms. Romanoff, Dr. Pym would like a word with you at the war table at your earliest convenience. Looks like you picked up some old friends. Oh, you mean all these ex-Shield guys? Yeah, Maria's putting her own band back together. She lent us some to run the critical systems. Glad to hear Commander Hill's still fighting the good fight. Greetings from the Ant Hill. Natasha, thanks for helping save the day back at Ames Prison, and for everything you did as Tiny Dancer. I wondered who our mysterious guardian angel was. Anytime, Hank. Sometimes dirty hands do the best work. True. And how the hell did you folks get the Chimera online, let alone airborne, without Terrigen? 
The Chimera has the same standard engines as older helicarriers. It's kind of like a hybrid car. But, you know, cool. Something tells me this isn't just a thank you call, Doctor. Guilty as charged. We did a little digging in the data you sent me from the prison. AIM was able to successfully transport most of the Inhumans. I've tracked the ship, but we'll need someone to go in after it. We'll do whatever we can. Thanks. I've already uploaded some mission details to your war table. Pam out. Miss Romanoff, welcome back to the Chimera. I have intel on the potential aim defectors that you transmitted to me during your time as Tiny Dancer. I've marked a location on the war table that should be of interest to you. Thanks, Jarvis. It's good to have you handling mission details for me again. Just like old times, as they say. Enjoying the view? Not enough to distract me from what's waiting downstairs. But I think I'm ready. I guess I have to be. Okay, I'm gonna go prep the interrogation room for you. If you want to chat, I'm just a radio call away. Thanks, Nat. I just need to, you know, ponder some things for a bit. Yeah, well, don't ponder too much. Oh, hey, Nat. Since Roy brought up all the power cores needed for the Chimera, I figured he could stay up there and help outfit you all as needed. We can repurpose another aimbot to take his place here at the anthill. Nat, um, I'm about to talk to Monica. She's gonna try to manipulate you. You know that, right? I think I know Monica well. No, you don't. There are a thousand Monicas. She switches them like masks when she needs to. Yeah. Look, all I'm saying is if you go in there with expectations, she's gonna blindside you. Are all exits secure? Yes, Agent Romanoff. Good. Open the airlock for me, and don't open it for anyone else but Dr. Banner. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Initiating airlock override protocol. You've worked with Monica for a long time. She's changed, hasn't she? No, you see, I don't honestly believe she ever had any true feelings for you. But if I'm wrong, if she betrays any real emotions, exploit them. That's your leverage. <laughs> Always appreciated your brutal honesty, Nat. You can do this, Bruce. More importantly, you have to. We need to find the rest of those inhuman prisoners before we crash the party at the AIM experience. Okay, we ready to do this? Well, this should be interesting. These two haven't spoken since the hearings. Think Bruce is up to it? He better be. Once we break up Tarleton's little party, he'll clean house. The AIM experience. So many better names. Look, we need the location of that lab. Hundreds of Inhumans depend on it. So Tiny Dancer, huh? Let me guess, you would have gone with Rocket Man. Please, not even close. You're my candle in the wind. Show's about to start. Let me guess. You're planning a big reveal at the Adaptoid launch. The triumphant return of the Avengers. Imprisonment and torture. That's how AIM's gonna make the world a better place? Please. Ebola, smallpox, polio, all fatal, if not for lab rats. Humans aren't sick, Monica. You're just harvesting their powers to make your little robots. <sighs> robots that possess complex AI. Capable of assessing the most effective application of their powers, all with minimal human casualty. Where's the lab, Monica? You can reverse engineer Terrigen, sure, but it'll be catastrophic and you know it. You were there on A-Day, and you know if we do it again, it's not gonna just endanger in humans, it's gonna endanger all of us. Last I checked, 
Heyday was your mess. <sighs> Damn it. I need a stronger table. I see some things haven't changed. Everything's just an experiment with you, isn't it? It is. Tarleton and humans. Me. Scour the Earth. You will not find our lab. The Adaptoids will launch, Bruce. Saving the world requires sacrifice! I'm going in. We need to find that lab. Jarvis, sensors detect aim forces incoming. Tarleton's come for his sidekick. Nat, Quinjet. You read my mind. Stay with me. All right. Hey, uh, just watch yourself up there. I will if you will. Kamala, let's go. We can't let AIM stop us from getting these inhumans in front of the press. They seem he is secure from this refugee. Jarvis, keep an eye on our guest. She's a slippery one. Jarvis, door! Jarvis, can you open this one? Sorry, sir. AIM is locking me out. Guess we do this the old-fashioned way. Well, this just escalated. I'll tell you what, you survived this. Maybe you can work for me. That would be awesome. Great. Focus on the angry robots. I'll bring down the flying on the metal. With pleasure. Bruce, how are we doing on getting pissed off? Whoa! That's more like it. Nat, aim him at the bad guys and get gone. Way ahead of you. Tony, we need air support. Get up here now. Be right there. Jarvis, drop the cannon. Carlton's gotta be heading your way soon. Make your way to the control room, kid. Punch anything that gets near those energy cores. You got it. Miss Khan, they just breached the control room. I'm on my way. Please do hurry.
this? Are you still... you? Sorry. Jarvis isn't home anymore, Kamala. This ends now! Guys? I got a problem here. Guys! I made sure your new friends won't know until it's too late. You still gotta go through me! You should have accepted my offer. And end up like all those other inhumans. Yeah, no. Why don't you just take Monica and go? Why all this? You'll find out. The Avengers are using you, Kamala. Don't bother with the BS, dude. It's not gonna work. Oh, you're so naive. Shut up! Your new friends will let you down. That's all they know. Unlike you, I have faith in Bruce and the others. So did I. Once. The world's about to be reminded who the Avengers really are. What are you talking about? has escaped. In trouble, Kamala! I need you on the deck now! I'm coming! Monica, she's escaping. We're here live at the AIM Experience in Manhattan witnessing the return of the Avengers, but they... They appear to be attacking the city! Keep rolling! Keep rolling! Is it any coincidence that this attack comes on the very day that AIM is supposed to unveil their promising new adaptoid program? Oh, shit. Child is? 
Completely lost your senses. Ah, prodigal son returns. You almost obliterated all of Manhattan. Well, holier than thou, where were you while the world went to hell? Coming to terms with my failings, 
Not making new ones. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Everyone just take a breath. We planned on interrupting the AIM experience, showing the world what Tarleton was up to. These adaptoids of his, they harvest their powers through the torture of these inhumans. They expose them to near lethal amounts of dark terrigen. Yeah, and that is only step one. Georgie boy is gearing up for a war. And what's worse is, Kamala here has found some evidence that might show what really happened to Steve. Hi. Every hero has to start somewhere. You remember me? Aye. Show me this footage. Jarvis? Are you done? I have broken the encryption, so there is more to see. George! We have to shut down the reactor! It's pulling us towards that heat signature. Uh, I've tried, but there's no way to disengage the crystal. Then get out and seal the door. What? George, go. No. This can't be right. Head to the command deck. What? Evacuate now. No, 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 Cap. What are you doing? No, 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 no. <sighs> Just stop. What? Smash the reactor. He had to have a reason. What reason? Hundreds of people were infected. People died. Nat, Just take it easy. Did you take some responsibility, Tony? Oh, well, there's the Bruce I know. Throw everyone under the bus, why don't you? No, it's not the time. No, it's okay, Nat. See, he's been waiting to do this since Golden Acres, haven't you? Haven't you? This is our fault. All of ours. How do you not get that? It, what I get is that you actually believe all that crap you said at the hearing. I believe that we are dangerous. You really think the world is better without us? Yes. <laughs> I'm out of here. You all have not changed. Look at her. She can't be fixed. She can't be cured. I've done the experiments. I've checked her DNA over and over and over again. You and I created the perfect disease. No, actually, I do the job. I make the tough decisions. Do it. I stand by the people who made me who I am. I am warning you. <laughs> Bruce? Make you angry? <laughs> See, it's always been your problem. Run from who you are, what you are. Maybe that's why. Monica got the better of you. I was just agreeing with you, big guy. That banner is a coward. Guys, don't do this. This is exactly what Tarleton wants. I'd stay out of this one, kid. That's it then. I'm alone. Not quite, Miss Khan. Jarvis? I assume you can keep this thing in the air? For quite some time, yes. Oh, that's a relief. Without proof, there's no hope. I can't just give up. This can't be how it ends. This is Phil Shelton, live on the scene here in Manhattan. What we witnessed tonight is something this nation has lived in terror of for five years. A tragedy on the scale of A-Day was narrowly avoided over the skies of New York, thanks to the quick actions of advanced idea mechanics. If not for the fast response of their defense forces, the Chimera would surely have crashed into Manhattan, 
doing untold damage to this densely populated city. The Avengers are indeed back, but their motivations are unclear and their tactics as concerning as ever. Much of America rests uneasy tonight as they wonder where these once mighty heroes could appear next, what their goals are, and what kind of destruction they might leave in their wake. Wow. Even the S.H.I.E.L.D. guys left. Maybe they thought Hulk was gonna smash the place up. Jarvis, is there a recording of Bruce's interrogation of Monica? Certainly, miss. You can access it in the interrogation antechamber. If I may be so bold, Miss Cullum, what do you hope to find in the interrogation footage? I don't know. I have to try something. Maybe she slipped up. Aim's the real enemy. I wish Bruce and Tony could see that. No offense, Jarvis, but I sure wish there was another person on board. None taken, Miss Khan. <laughs> okay. Interrogation footage. There's gotta be a clue here somewhere. Let me guess. You're planning a big reveal at the Adaptoid launch. Come on, Monica, give me something. Scour the Earth. You will not find our lab. The Adaptoids will launch, Bruce. Saving the world requires sacrifice. Ugh, this is useless. I just want to talk to my dad. Calling Yusuf Khan. No, no, don't, Jarvis. I didn't mean to. Hello? Beta, is that you? Oh, come on, uh, if you're there, I miss you so much. Look, I'm not angry. I just want you to come home. I'm sorry. I should never have told you to hide your powers. Perhaps you're scared, a little unsure. I the important thing is that you always stay true to yourself. I love you, Beta. I love you more. If you can hear me, I think I found a clue. Look, I know I messed up. I wanted to blame AIM so bad for what happened to me on A-Day, it blinded me. But Cap must have had a good reason for what he did. I, I know it. People believe in the Avengers, not just because of your cool powers, but, but because no matter how bad things get, no matter how much you disagree, you always come together. Don't you get it? 
Your differences are your greatest superpower. I was just some weird kid from Jersey who didn't fit in. But you saw me for who I really was. You accepted me. There's still a bad guy out there who wants to hurt the world. But we can stop him. Good isn't a thing you are. It's a thing you do. shouldn't have said. I get it. Altitude, dry eyes. Look, I'm uh, not very good at... I'm sorry, so... Same. Good enough. Yeah. So, you, uh... Found a clue? Yeah, it's the interview. Listen. Scour the earth. You will not find our lab. Okay. Monica's right. The lab's not on Earth. I'm not following. Okay, when I was captured, Monica and Tarleton had this argument. Tarleton had to leave the room, and then Monica pulled up the coordinates to this satellite called Ambrosia. Ambrosia? That was a S.H.I.E.L.D. biomedical research project. AIM must have required it during the takeover. It would be a great place to hide proof of inhuman experiments, right? If you wanted to study inhumans on the cellular level, then zero gravity would be a perfect place to do it. Good job. Okay, so, we know where we need to go. We just need a way to get there. Project Star Booster. As I recall, you abandoned it because you couldn't generate enough acceleration in the auxiliary rockets. Yeah, yeah, no need to bore everyone with the details. That was before I had access to Mr. Shrinky. Jarvis, get Pim on the phone. We need a way to get up to this space lab. He's the only one who can help. Please tell me this is a social call. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'd like to socialize with a few of your pin parts. Need to shrink down an accelerator. <sighs> well, then you'll need to break into a high security aim facility. Ever heard of Meridian? You're gonna have a hard time getting in. That place is no joke. We know? I gotta say, you give a hell of a speech when you're pissed at us. <sighs> Look, Nat, uh, we were idiots. I'm... As much as I love your squirming, it sounds like we've got work to do. I can get us to Meridian. Us? We're in this together, right? No time to lose. AIM confiscated all my research when I was captured. They haven't figured out how to use the particles, but they'll be well protected. Okay, there aren't a lot of ways into Meridian. I think our best bet will be to hijack one of their hyper-circuit trains and take it directly to the heart of the operation. I, I can hack the trains, but it'll leave the anthill exposed. AIM will be able to pinpoint our location. You'll need to hurry. So we go in loud and smash the base up. Good. I prefer the direct approach. In all my time undercover inside AIM, I never could get the clearance to see Meridian. Well, Nat, you're about to get your chance. Uploading the coordinates to the hypercircuit station entrance. Let's move out. Super secret research bases does AIM have? Too many. But Meridian is its most important one, besides New York. You nervous about using Pim's particle tech on your suit? Thanks, smart, but his Pim particles are unstable on their best day. 
If he can get it working, it might be just what we need, so let's say hoping for a miracle. You know I can still hear you, right? Ah, oh, crap, Pat. We did it again. Sorry. Changing channels. There's the hypercircuit station. It's protected by a force field. Destroy the field's power source, and I'll hack into their system to call a train. Understood. the sound of that. Running into some serious firewalls here. I need more time. On it. Just get us that train. Okay, I'm in. Train's ready for you, but the whole place is on alert now. No deal. Choo-choo! All aboard! Really, Tony? One of my old aliases. Damn it! AIM has been spotted near the anthill. We need that particle sample ASAP. We may be out of time, Hank. Not yet. We're almost there. Let's get what we came for. There's Meridian. Holy crap, the AIM bees have been busy. I'm picking up a pin particle signature deeper in the base. I'm updating your HUD. That's why I love you, Jarvis. Ah, uh, you guys are cute. Damn it! Avengers, we have a problem. It looks like AIM has traced my hack of their systems. I'm getting reports of alerts on the anthill perimeter. I need you to find that particle sample and get back here ASAP. Even if we do find it, I don't know if we can get back to you in time. Hold on, I think I have a way to get you back. <laughs> Allies is close by and could use some help. Someone keep a score here! Right, okay, I'm sending Theo, one of my operatives, through to your location. He'll teleport you and the particle sample back to the anthill. Teleport? Oh, this should be interesting. Please hurry before they reach us. Particle dock. Hank! Damn it, Tim, where's your operative? He should be there. Avengers! Hurry! Where's the pin particle? Get us back to the anthill now. They need our help. You won't need it on the front lines. Hold tight. This might be a rough ride. Thank you. I'll deliver the particle to Dr. Pym. What is this place? Hey, resistance guy. Care to fill us in? Uh, this is a safe house close to the anthill. Yeah, it doesn't seem safe to me. Avengers, get out there and buy us some time. What the hell's going on? Just keep it busy. I'll join you when I can. It? That sounds ominous. All right, the Avengers are here. Let's do this. That's not good. Aim's machine will be through in a matter of minutes. Then let's take it out. Legs. Nice 
nice work. a massive teleport signature. Ah, oh, damn it! Hank, evacuate the Ed Hill now. I don't think so. Hank, that doesn't look ready. Come on, Tony, live a little. Unbelievable. It worked. Congratulations, Dr. Pym. The Resistance has an impressive new weapon. It's sort of cute when they're small. Thanks, guys. I owe you one. Thanks for your help out there. I'll have the Pym particles you need transported to the Chimera. Thanks, Doc. I know you won't listen, but I'll say it anyway. Be careful. I'll do my best. Here are the particles Dr. Pym promised. Good luck, Iron Man. Thanks. I'm, uh, gonna need it. So what exactly is this Starboost thing? Meet me in the tech lab, kid, and see for yourself. Good luck, Tony. Thanks, Nat. You may have heard of the Resistance. Jarvis, didn't I fix this door? A security breach has left the Chimera on high alert. Hangar entry is only permitted for mission-related affairs. Got it. No hanging in the hangar. And it begs the question, what exactly are they fighting for? AIM has told us Inhumans are contagious, but both humans and Inhumans seem to be joining this resistance in striking numbers. Is this a recipe for the conditions that created A-Day, or... Has the public been misled about the danger presented by Inhumans? That looks awesome. Because it is awesome. $1.4 billion vanity project. I may incinerate on takeoff, but I'll look damn good doing it. All systems are in the green, sir. But I must warn you, a large storm system has moved into your direct flight path. Never rains, but it pours. Well, we can't wait any longer. Tony, I loaded up some music to give you a little boost. Oh, no. Don't worry, it's not mine. You can do this. Thanks, kid. Okay. Three, two, one. Go! 
Juice left in these repulsors. Hopefully, this place isn't crawling with guards. Okay, let's see what we got. Wait a minute. Well, this doesn't make sense. Regenerative formula. That'll explain Tarleton's giant head. That's its source. Probably some unfortunate inhuman. Okay, let's find that door. No sweat. Rescue that inhuman. No more regen formula, no more adaptoids. High fives all of you. Bingo. at all. You're alive. Tony. What are you... What is all this stuff? Where am I? <laughs> Tony? Are you hugging me? What? No. I just didn't watch you fall. Then why aren't you letting go? I just... We thought... I mean, I thought that... Good to have you back, Captain. I'm so come confused. On. Yeah, come on. Gotta get you out of here. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Tarleton. Did he survive? Tarleton? Who cares? What? The explosion, he was too close. He survived. Thanks to you, apparently. And Monica, if you believe the news stories. That doesn't make sense. <coughs> okay, I got you. The evacuation. All those people. Yeah, we'll get to that. You think you can walk? Yeah, it's okay. I'm good. Let's do this. Well, there's the cap I remember. Come on. Okay. What's the plan? Uh, well, we find an escape pod and, uh, escape. You're winging this, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. Actually, didn't think I'd make it this far. Tony, where is everyone? Where's... Here. Oh, well, we're in space. My God. You weren't kidding. Nope. <laughs> wow. Like riding a bike, I guess. It's down from here. You ready to jump? <sighs> Tony. What's... What's happening? Well, it's a long story. How long was I? Five minutes. Which, by your standards, 
is just a power nap. I'm starting to think people just prefer me on ice. See? You're already making jokes. Corny <clears throat> ones. But that's normal for you. Captain Rogers. What is this? Don't leave us just yet. Monica! Long time no see. Can't imagine your buddy Tarleton was too thrilled about using superhero blood to replace superheroes. He leaves the details to me. Stop what you're doing. Now. Wait a minute. Georgie doesn't know about any of this. And he never will. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Uh-oh. I think we made her mad. Tony! I'm working on it! All right, got it. Let's go! What the hell? Oh, don't mind the killer robots. Hurry! Get it open! I'm trying! For a dead guy, you're really pushy. I'm gonna have to brute force this thing. Why didn't you start with that? Out here. Grab the other side. Got it. We got company. No time for a fight. Let's move. Watch out. Damn it. That glass cap, it can't hold your weight! We're not gonna die in a fiery ball of death. And the bad news? We'll uh, most likely suffocate first. <sighs> well, at least it's a good view. That it is. Damn it. So close. Since we're gonna die anyway, you have any, I don't know, last confessions? Your jokes. I just don't get them. I know, I read your diary. <laughs> Why'd you smash the reactor cap? A lot of people died. Tony, there was something buried deep beneath the bay. Somehow linked to the reactor, working its way to the surface every minute. It's the earthquake. I had to do something. The entire San Andreas Fault was about to blow. The ocean would have consumed the city. Millions would have died. Never doubted you for a second. Just had to hear it, you know? What the hell is that? Well, look who it is. Am I always going to save the day? I expect nothing less from the God of Thunder. Hi, Thor. Welcome back, Captain. This 
was your regenerative formula. George? How long have I been your lab rat? I knew you'd react like this. You'd rather die than need something from them. I trusted you. You saved your life. You can control machines with your mind. Just think of you all the- You infected me with his blood. It could have killed me. But it didn't. Remember the dream, George. How could you make me one of them? I made you strong. You stole my hope. And now, I am going to give you the same odds that I had. <laughs> of superpowers. Even if it has to end with me. George! Hey there, old friend. They had you. This isn't on you. Tarleton didn't even know Monica had me. What? A-Day. The heist. Monica hired Taskmaster to steal a Terrigen crystal. His men triggered the security protocols, initiating the Chimera's autopilot. But, <sighs> but that thing in the bay, that was unexpected. The heat signal. It must have been what caused the earthquake that took down the city. What was that? I don't know. Nat, I... I just keep thinking. If I hadn't... All those people... No. This is not your fault. That ship was never supposed to be in the air. I would have done the same thing. You're alive. I knew it! I'm sorry. Um, come on. You should really see this. Thanks, Jarvis. It's good to be back. Since the Chimera's near crash into Manhattan, the situation has become dire. I fear AIM will use this as an opportunity to ramp up their persecution of all the Inhumans. We can't let that happen. The world needs the Avengers now more than ever. We are preparing for our final confrontation with AIM. I have completed my analysis of Mr. Stark's plans to equip the Avengers for this anticipated confrontation, and will need some special materials to complete them. Thanks, Jarvis. Time for us to get back in fighting form. Let's see what we need. Excellent, sir. As part of the effort, we might want to help our allies. Commander Hill and Dr. Pym are both reporting serious difficulty in coordinating our efforts due to AIM's draconian control over world communication networks. How can we help? They have requested we destroy AIM's main communication hub to help unite the Resistance efforts. Let's oblige them, old friend. Speaking of the media, reports of our own Thor Odinson working with ex-AIM scientists in a remote part of Scandinavia have started cropping up on the news. This may be part of AIM's propaganda campaign against the Avengers, but it bears investigation. Agreed. 
Let's get Thor on this ASAP. Fellow Americans, we're here where protesters have gathered in response to a nationwide threat to our freedom. This morning, the heads of all major military agencies were held under duress by AIM's new adaptoids. Panic erupted when many awoke to large AIM gunships hovering above our major cities. As the military begins to mobilize, a tense standoff has gripped the nation. Of course. That's my tech. That is my cloaking tech. Wait a minute. Something's happening. Emergency. Inhuman activity detected. Please evacuate the area immediately. AIM is here for your protection. Sir, I'm receiving a distress call from a resistance sanctuary in New York. Ames trying to draw us out. If we rescue them, it'll look like we're attacking. Doesn't matter what it looks like. We see someone who needs help, and we help. So you do what you need to do. We're leaving at dawn. Hey, Cap. I got Pim to send us what he has on New York if you want to take a look. Meet me in the tech lab. On my way. Alright, Nat. What have we got? Turns out Pim has been tracking that thing since it showed up in the sky. It doesn't seem to follow a set route, so we can't anticipate its movements. His best guess is that it responds to activity alerts from AIM's agents, coupled with its own sensors. It's going to see us coming. Probably. The Resistance will feed us their data, so we'll have intel on its location at all times. That should at least give us a leg up. Great. Get the Quinjet set up. I want to be ready for takeoff ASAP. Consider it done. All right, what's the play? Not sure there's any chance of us getting into this city undetected. Yeah, pretty sure you rising from the dead is gonna attract attention. Then we give them something to draw their attention. Like maybe a son of Odin. <laughs> I will bring the lightning, Captain. They won't even see you on the ground. We're being hailed, sir. Put them through. Hello? Anyone out there? They found us. They say we need to be cured, but we know what that means. Please, someone... What's this? Someone found a radio? Don't worry. You'll all be cured soon. Jarvis, can you get a location? Right away, sir. I've traced the call back to an apartment in the evacuation zone. I don't get it. Why are they evacuating? Because of us, inhumans. To them, we're a disease. AIM has people believing they're dangerous. It's only gotten worse over the years. That's enough from these, Svinja. Find the Inhumans. Well, we know they're heavily armed. And they love to hear themselves talk. Sounds familiar. Ooh, I feel seen. It's not safe. Find somewhere to hide while we clear the way to the safe house. Okay, come on! Dr. Pym is sending agents to escort the survivors out of the city. He's alerted them, but they're trapped inside. Forwarding the code to the safe house entrance. That flying thing is heading right for it. Patrols must have found it. Another enemy defeated. Let's move. What's Pim's ETA? His agents are on their way, but they'll need time. Not sure how much we've got. Watchdogs are closing in. Safe house is nearby. I'm picking up something in the atmosphere. A derivative of Terrigen. But I've never seen anything like it. Are we in danger here? Aren't we always? True. This is it. Readings are more concentrated here. Better get inside. Avengers! Come on! Glad you're here. We can't. They have this thing hunting in humans. We tried to sneak out, but they have eyes everywhere. We'll take care of the watchdogs. Don't worry. Not them. That thing in the sky. 
It's here. Stay down until the resistance comes for you. Four. Looks like we're gonna need some air support on this one. Whatever this new threat is, I will meet it in the sky. Terrigen levels rising. Activate respirators. machine is the source of the altered Terrigen. It's been genetically modified to seek out the presence of the inhuman gene and eliminate the host. It's killing inhumans? Not for long. <laughs> this thing let's get its black box back to the chimera i'll do some digging jarvis i've uploaded the warship's transmitter database trace launch location retracing flight path that dark terrigen tarleton wants to kill us all we have to do something he can't cure the inhumans so he's gonna take them all out and this is just the beginning sir what do we got According to the flight path, the machine originated from the San Francisco Bay. No. No, that's not possible. I flew over that area dozens of times after A-Day. Perhaps this is a ruse. They mean to throw us off course. Unlikely. Residual radiation and mineral deposits on the wreckage confirms the craft has been in the Bay Area recently. Then how did no one see it? Same way they didn't see the warships coming. It's cloaked. A quarantine. No aircraft, no ships in or out. Hiding in plain sight. Exactly. Sir, I've just intercepted a signal. Warships. Hundreds of them deploying out of San Francisco. No! No, they'll kill thousands if we don't stop them! Then we go to the source. And shut it down. Jarvis, plot a course to San Francisco. At once, Captain. Okay. Well, if we're going into battle with our big-headed friend's death fortress, robot army, and the flotilla of warships, we might as well look good doing it, right? Say the thing? What? You know. Avengers assemble. Yeah, we don't really say that. Just be cool, Ken. Got it. Jarvis, do you have the fortress? Mapping radiation signatures now. Georgie boy sure has been busy. They're right on top of your heat signal cap. That must be the source of Ames Terrigen. Nat, take us down. Kamala and I will take out the main control tower. 
Thor, Tony, knock out as many of those generators as you can. We stop that signal. We stop those warships. Hulk, clear a path. Yesterday we were all together like this. Bring in the dad jokes, Cap. Okay. Four generators down. No sign of the other inhumans. Have some faith. They gotta be around here somewhere. I was wondering when my old friends will make their appearance. Brings a tear to my eye to see you all assembled together again. You're making this easy for me. Free yourselves up to the slaughter. What the hell is this? Let me guess. Robots glowing purple? Bolton? Yeah. He can control units from Bolton. Take those out first. Yeah. Bolton, take him out. Your time's up, George. I'm coming for you! I'll put this thing to the end! Oh my god, I a smile on your face! Avengers, on me! Bet they wish they had a gamma monster on their team! Uh, they do. Abomination? But is he house trained? The gunships are emitting a strange, dark mist! What is this? People everywhere are starting to panic that they're running and screaming. Some seem affected by the mess. It's like it's triggering something inside of them. I can't believe it. The aim is firing on the Air Force. Let's get out of here, run! Captain Rogers. We told ourselves Terrigen was going to change the world. I know. We made a mistake, George. Don't call me that. George failed. Modok won't. We can't cure this, or what we've become. What are you saying? Power cannot be controlled. I know that now. It has to be destroyed. No. Our sacrifice will be remembered, Captain. <laughs> I'm guessing you all caught that. Let's take out that signal tower. And his face. I'm with her. As am I. Big guy? We can't get to the last transmitter in the Quinjet. Too much cover fire. We got this. The door ahead leads to the transmitter's base. I'll follow Hulk's lead. And try not to fall to my death. Good plan. Give me a second. Accessing the system. Get that door open. On it. Keep an eye on force field generators. When they pulse yellow, take them out. Yeah. Kill Captain Rogers. Without him, they'll crumble. Hey, I think I understood that. Whoa, 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 oh, There's a teenager on this channel. Shut your mouth. This is futile, Captain. You're leading your people to their death as they once led you to yours. And for what? None of your adoring fans will know you died for them. Eesh. Really got the whole villain monologue thing down, doesn't it? Five years of practice. It's starting to sound like you, Stark. Oh, we'll work on it. <laughs> These jetpack guys annoying anyone else? Kinda remind me of another flying suit of armor. Oh, how dare you talk about Thor like that? God, I can't believe I'm fighting with the Avengers. <laughs> I'm not seeing any yellow force field generators. They will be by the door. Give me a minute. Well, I guess a five-year nap makes a man impatient. Captain has high expectations for all of us. We shall exceed them. See? Someone's got the right attitude. Defense shield is down, Nat. How's that door coming? Hard to hack and fight at the same time. Are you not having fun? Do you 
You see what I'm seeing? Those adeptoids! They've gone in human powers! I see them. We've got our job, kid. Let Cap do his. Reason must guide our future now. The time for heroes is over. The bobblehead's still talking? Really? Some sort of power conduit room. Probably for the last transmitter. Everything's electrified. Look for fail-safe switches. AIM's gotta have a way to shut things down for repairs. There's something wrong! We should have spotted in humans by now! Think about how high security the prison was. AIM's not gonna give them up that easy. But we can't free them until we know AIM's not gonna gas them into oblivion. Uh, Tony, some tech. Good. Right, sorry. Mama. No, you're right. We have to stop that signal. Already on. Just keep me covered. Captain, you weren't there. You didn't hear the testimonies, the pain. No one should have to live like this. On that, at least, we agree. I've seen what happens when the people in power decide who deserves to live, Doctor. I'm not about to let history repeat itself. Then don't force us to live through another A-Day! I don't think you and I did, George. That's part of the problem. I found my way up. Here goes enough. I'm almost there! I'm picking up strange electromagnetic readings in that tower. Couldn't be this easy. Give me hell, Cap. I'll join you when I'm finished here. I'll do my best. Gotta get these guys to unfinished. 
phase just to hit them. How are the rest of you doing? I'm helping Black Widow shake butt! Focus on those butts, kid. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> It is. That's the last core. The transmission should be dead. No, I'm still reading a signal from the excavation site. The heat signal I saw on A-Day, it caused the earthquakes. Whatever's behind those walls, MODOK doesn't want us to do it. Got bigger problems, Captain. Shit! Beacon must have been a decoy. Somehow Tarleton's still transmitting. You struggle against the unstoppable tide of progress, Avengers. This just got a whole lot weirder. What has happened to his face? You can slow me down, but I have enough mist to blanket the world. Avengers. No more ships make it out of the quarantine zone. <laughs> Tony, take out those thrusters. Thought you'd never ask. <laughs> All this wasted effort. It will make no difference. Inhumanity is a blight on this earth. <laughs> oh, that hurt. I'll take it from here. Everyone fan out. Buy me some time. Monica already contaminated me with your blood, Captain Rogers. Oh. He's down! Assemble on me! My court hurts! Matt, move in! Right behind you! Damn it! Options, people! I on my way! You don't understand! You can't help but hurt others! Only I can stop you! What is that thing? A Kree sentry. Cap, I'm getting the feeling that gem in his forehead isn't just to look pretty. I think we've got bigger problems. Yeah, on it! Come on, heads up! 
Big guy, come on, I need you. <laughs> Take it easy. Mm. You got hard, kid. Great job. Yeah, we need to work on that passing out thing, but you did good. Indeed. Good. <laughs> I 
was pretty badass. Thanks. Hey, can you guys give us a moment? What? All this time, I, I thought I was mentoring you and I'd given up. And I guess what I'm trying to say is thank you. Can I ask you a favor? You know you're grounded till you're 30, yes? Yes. Good. From now on, nothing but school. And your... your special field trips. Really? Oh, Abu! I'm so proud of you, Beta. But, uh, let's not tell Ami, okay? Okay. <laughs> Do we have snacks? Of course. I'm hungry. As the newly elected Scientist Supreme, I will weed out the weak elements from within. No more surprises. No more distractions from our goals. Only carefully crafted innovation. Make no mistake, AIM is still the future. From cloning to time travel, the possibilities are endless. Now, Let's begin. <laughs> 